One, let's see if we're playing live. Okay, so it's always cool to be behind the scenes, by the way. For those folks that are tuning in and listening, they are like behind the scenes and they probably want to wow. give me a little space. And you come, yeah, there you, there you go. I see, I feel better now. Okay. I feel like we're squeezing on here and we're doing something amazing because for the first time ever, mm -hmm. I'm doing a live broadcast, a live show with you and Terea. Did, did I get it right? Did I get it right? Taria. Taria. Oh, like, oh, oh, like, oh, like Taria Hodge. Oh, Taria, like, uh, like uh, Taria Hodge on our team. Taria. Oh, yes, we got you. Exactly. We're here. Yeah. Taria and I are right here. Hey, Taria. <laughs> yeah, Taria. Taria. Okay, Taria, I got it now. I got it now. I'm hitting the button. Now I'm closing down some stuff in just a second. Then I'm going to go to our page. Where, where's your phone at? Okay. Now we're gonna get our phone out. Don't don't lose your bag over there because no, you lose your bag. I, I don't you. I okay. don't pay for bags by the way. We don't we don't pay for logs bags by the way. All right, so I'm going to your page. So we're gonna go to my page now. If you're out there for folks that are joining on, um, they're going to be in for a treat because we're talking about how to turn a book into an ATM machine. Okay. Now imagine if you had an ATM machine and you can go to it whenever you want it, and whenever you need to take out money, you just go there, hit a button, and the money comes through. And so we're on with this expert. Wrong with the experts this evening. No, 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 it's cool. Look, they are behind the scenes. They're used to this kind of stuff. They're used to things happening like this, by the way. But it's really good. Oh, I'm doing my watch party. Oh, you, you did a watch party? How, yeah. did you, how did you do a watch party? So I just did what I do. I went to your page, uh -huh. and it's streaming live, and I said, do a watch party so that people on my page can go ahead and follow as well. This is a really good... Oh, okay. How, okay, wait, wait a minute. I, I feel right jealous. You see that wait, wait, wait. Can we say hello? Um, is Isabel's out there? What's up, Isabel? Say hey. hello, Isabel. Isabel. Say, say hello, to D, D Bowling. Hey, D. Say D. hello to Jante. Hey. And say look, hello to Kia. Kia, how are you, beautiful? Look, for those folks that are joining, do me a favor. Look below the video. We're about to get started. We're about to have a money. What are you watch doing to party my thing? Right there. No, okay, okay. That's that's your watch party. Don't go touching my watch party. I'm just God, saying, I'm trying to teach them something. You can't even. Live. Terea, can you can you say mic check, mic check, so they can make sure they can. Mic hear. check, mic check. Can you hear me? Okay, so for those folks that can hear, do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. Just say we can hear you. Sakoni Prince is in the house. You know, oh you know Sakoni Prince. Yes. Oh, you got me, Sakoni Prince. He is like super duper incredible. He is amazing. Just an amazing I don't know individual. If we've met maybe once. Really, so Sherry, we Sherry met? Wallace. Can you let us know if you can hear us? By the way, Demetra's in the house. Hey. Say, say hello to Mary. Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary. Yes. Craig is in the house. To now, Terea, now, Terea, um, my good frat brother, um, Craig Talley, just joined. He's, he's, a, he's, he's, of course, a good capper man. I just want to let you know that he's a good capper man. Okay, hey, capper man. See, see, okay, good. I think everybody can hear us. We're going to talk about how to make money with a book and turn it into an ATM machine. Okay. Terea, are you ready? I'm ready. LA Let's Rupert, rock and you're roll. there. Johnson, you're there. Say, can you, do you have yours up? Can you say hello to a few folks? Mary Lou Mitchell, how you doing? Say hello to Mary. Hey, Mary, how are now, you? Now, for those folks that are coming on, you are here with Lena. Yes. Did I get it right? Yes. Lena, who is a speaker concierge. She is amazing. She's incredible. And then on the other side, you have our expert, um, none other than Taria. And Taria is going to teach us today how to turn your book into an ATM machine. That's the whole purpose. Holla, the holla at your Ching -ching. girl. And we are in hot Atlanta. Yes. I'm happy to be here. Who, who joined on? Say hello to some folks. Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, Mary. What's up, Mary? Oh, my goodness. And Sherry, yes, thank you so much for telling us you can hear us. So she can't hear us? Yes. All right, so that means we can, we can, we can get started in five. Can you hear us? Can they, can they hear, um, can they hear Terea? Yes. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, Pablo. No, 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 Terea. You, Terea, you, you, you've got to do a mic check, mic check. You got to say mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Can Mike you hear me? Nice check one. Yes. They can hear you. Can they, can they hear? If you can hear, type two, we hear you. Just put two, we hear you. If you hear me, put number one. One. Ah, what? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you, must have been, you must have been a one online. Right, I'm just have, saying. You must have been a one Number online. one. Number one. All right, here we go. In five. Can they hear us? Four. Yes. Can we, they can hear us. That'd be a problem. I'd be upset. Five, four, three, Two, one, let's kick the show off. It's showtime. Please, Please. Just... go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. 
You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning. And meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra, you know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Let's get started. It is showtime. We are here in Atlanta. Welcome everybody to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. Isn't that hey, incredible? Hey, it's late, but hey, we're all well, No, no, it is not late. It is, it is not late. It depends on where you are in the country. Yeah, there are to... some folks that wake up like Sheila Reno. She's in Germany oh. and it's like 6.30 in the morning. There are other folks that are over in London right now. It's what, eight hour difference. Okay. There are some folks right now, you'll see Malikia, she's in Australia. We have folks that are all over the country, but because you're on the East Coast, just saying. she thinks it's late. For I'm those just... folks on the West Coast, welcome home, by the way. You're probably Hello, having dinner everybody. right now. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. I'm just saying. Taria, what's up? How you doing over there? Oh man, I'm doing great. I'm over here enjoying uh, this opportunity to be on this show today with you, Shay. Well, look, I want to welcome everybody. We're going to have a frank conversation today about how to turn your book into an ATM. And one of the things that we talk about often on these shows is the importance of January the 1st. Mm -hmm. Now, take a moment and tell them who you are because they're thinking, no, she's not my wife, by the way. She's not my wife. I know y'all think she is, but she's a beautiful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no ring. Let's just make they're it clear. Me. They're texting me. What's up, George <laughs> Allen? Steve is in the house. Kiana Fields is in the house. Sylvia is in the house. Angela's in the house. Hey, Angela. Angela Pitts is in the house. Mc hey, Makia is in the house. Tyre Miles in the house. What's yeah. up? She's over in um. She's over in Phoenix, by the way. Oh wow. I'm telling you, Taria, you just bring out the all stars. What's up with that? Hey, I don't know. You know, what I'm saying? you gotta, you gotta, you gotta play the song. Bring them out. Bring them out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Look, look, I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna be a money conversation. For this conversation is for those folks that wanna make more money right. and have more meaning. Right. Right. They wanna make more income right. and have more impact. And they also want to make a dollar and a difference at the same time. How does right. that sound? I love it. Dollar and a difference. You can't just impact and just have just impact. You gotta have income too. Look, if you're ready and you're out there, now Lena, Le I yes. got it right. Lena, yeah. we have you talk. If you're ready to make a dollar and a difference, I want Terea to know that. So do me a favor. Do me a favor. It's not about the money, although you're about to have an ATM machine. That's that's I'm cool. Just saying, ching, 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 say that again. Ching, 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 ching. Okay, okay. You're about to have an ATM machine, but if you want to make a dollar and a difference, because we believe that the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bike account. So here's what I want you to do. You look right below the video. This is only for our difference makers, right? Yes. This is only for our game changers, right? Yes. This is only for the world changers. Is that correct? That is I correct. I want you to look right below the video and I want you to write these words. Now, Terea can see you. Lena can see you. Write these words. Make a dollar and a difference at the same time. Hashtag serve so big. If you are ready to serve the people that you were called to serve, if you're ready to make a difference in the world, you look right below the video. These are who you want to partner with. Right. Look right below the video. These are the folks that you want to collaborate with. Look right below the video. These are the folks you want to network with and write these words. Make a what? Dollar. Dollar. And. And. A difference. A difference. At the same time. At the same time. Okay. And what's the hashtag? 
serve so big. Say it. Serve, hashtag, serve, so hashtag big. serve so big. Oh, okay, try it again. Hashtag what? Serve so big. So here's here's what I want you to do. You have your do you have your phone over there? Yep. I want you to look right below the video, and I want you to acknowledge people who are putting hashtag serve so big. And Terea, we'll check your microphone. We'll make sure I'll make sure that you're coming through on the right microphone by the way so i'm doing that now they said it was echoing so i'll make sure that's not echoing recognize those people who are putting make a dollar and a difference at the same time right. hashtag serve so big so you go to my page by the yeah. way you click on it and i'm looking nicole brown hurston said hashtag serve so big angela anderson this is who you want to partner with says yeah. make a dollar and a difference at the same time Terea, can you actually see those comments below um, i can see the comments Morris, i can see the comments for sure okay. Craig, I see okay, now read exactly what they said. Can you, Terea, can you recognize somebody that said make a dollar and a difference at the same time? Uh, yeah, we have Pablo Amorum, LaShondra May Smith. So I'm looking on my watch party, so, so it might so be So what you want to do is you want to go to my watch party. That's where you see a lot of comments popping up right away before you share it. So Sylvia Bradley said, hashtag serve so big. Candy Martin said, hashtag serve so big. Kiana Brown said, make a dollar and a difference. Y'all got to partner with these people. Yeah. Kia Stringfield said, make a dollar and a difference. Yeah. Angela Pitts said, make a dollar and a difference. Craig Talley said what? Hey, make serve a dollar so big. He got the hashtag serve so big. I see him, Mary I see Lou him. Mary Mitchell said, make a what? Dollar and yeah, a difference did. at the same time. Look, you want to know who should you partner with. You want to know who are the right people. Because, right. yeah, Terrell's going to talk about how to make a how to turn your book into an ATM machine and how to make money doing that. She's the expert. This is what she does. She's the founder of Urban CEO. You can read all about her. But right now, yeah. can we just make a difference in the world? Yes. Can we, can, we, can we execute the vision for the people we were called to serve? Right. So you want to know who to partner with? You want to know who you should connect with on Facebook? You want to know who you should work with? Not me, not Lena, right. not Terea, but everybody who's putting make a dollar and a difference at the same time. Hashtag serve so big. Why do we say that? I recognize, I see Nicole's out there. Uh, Sherlyn said hashtag serve wow. so big. You got Sherlyn Ragman is on here right now. Mary Lou Mitchell says sound sells better now. Great, we fixed the sound, we fixed the sound. Craig Talley said make a dollar and a difference at the same time. Wow. Mary Mitchell said urban CEO. No, you're gonna find out what urban CEO is what? Wow all about you gonna find out about that no 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 i mean i'm i'm excited because what Teresa is doing yeah is helping authors not get paid but extend their message right. extend their story and extend their expertise and as an entrepreneur that's important right. as a human being right. that's more important you work with speakers your time. business is speaker concierge right yes, sir. Take a moment and talk to the audiences out there and just tell them why it's important that their story right. be told, that their message be communicated, and that more importantly, they reach people that they may never reach. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. So, really quickly, because I'm excited about seeing her, because her and I have been in different rooms at different engagements, and I'm excited because she's going to show you how to move that credit card a whole lot sooner, but as speakers... Um, a lot of times you are selling from the stage, right? Whatever you're saying should be what you're selling, and a lot of that information is within your book, right? Mm. So when you're on stage and you are pitching, you're saying, selling all these great things, you're creating the energy, you're creating the vibe, and you need someone to catch everything and every dollar, which obviously makes a difference, right? So every person that is saying, you know what, I believe what she's saying, I believe in that what she's, how do I take her home? Go get them. How do you take them home? you buy the book, you buy the product, you buy the service, right? And so she's going to talk to us tonight about how they can take you home and actually make this whole thing an ATM machine that is not just you saying or saying whatever from the stage, but that you put money in the bag and that you secure the bag. And my team is there to really ultimately support you to make sure that that happens. So really excited to be here and I appreciate you. Yeah, and, yeah. and what I'd like to do, um, Terea, before I talk about how famous you are as the founder of Urban CEO, before I talk about the number of authors and the thousands of authors that you work with to make their story a reality, before I talk about your, your, your brilliance um, that you have, not only in her craft, right. but she takes time and whenever you meet her, she's like someone you just met yesterday. Oh my goodness. She's yeah. so humble, she's so down to earth. You know, Terea, folks that are watching right now um, are probably thinking, girl, you got it all together. 
there's never been a problem in your life. We're going to get into how famous you are. But can we encourage an entrepreneur right now? Do you mind? She said I can ask any question, by the way. Yeah. She oh. said that. And there's no questions to ask, by the way. So I, I said to her, I said, do you mind sharing, Tere, I'm going to ask you right now, a time where you had a challenge in your life. There was a setback, maybe in your business, maybe in your life. And what did you do to overcome it? What's the lesson that an author can take away right now? What's the lesson that another entrepreneur can take away? And if you've never had a problem, say, Shay, that doesn't apply to me. Now, y'all might be saying, mm -hmm. Shay, why in the LL Cool J are you asking this question? What's the relevance? Here's the relevance. There's some folks out there right, right. now, and we like to encourage them. Yeah. We like to inspire them. We like to empower them. We don't want them to get motivated. We want them to walk away with something they could use. Mm -hmm. So here's what I want you to do. We believe in the giver's economy. Okay. The person that outgives the competition outearns the competition. That's the giver's economy. So here's what I want you to do. Hit the share button. Hit the share button right now. Hit the share button. And I want you to write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. Matter of fact, look right below the video. Look right below the video. And I want you to encourage another entrepreneur. I want you to encourage another personal development person. I want you to encourage another small business owner. Yes. And, and yeah, Terea's going to give her idea and she's going to share what you need to do from a setback. But, but the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe is not about me and you. No. It's about all of them. Oh, of course. And when they, we all come together, everyone supports each other yes. and moves them forward. Yeah. So by you writing those words, all the digital note takers, and we appreciate every single yeah. one of you. Alyssa, we appreciate you. Jatana, she said she's published twice. We appreciate wow. you. Stevi, we appreciate you. Isabel, we appreciate you. D. Bolden, we appreciate you. Look yes. right below the video. Look right below the video. What's up, Tisha? Marie Johnson, look yes. right below the video and write these words. <laughs> you are a champion. That's for somebody else. Hashtag keep on going. That's the key. Yes. You, what's the word? What are they putting down again? Um, the, the hashtag? No, no. What's, what they're going to they're gonna text. They're going to write these words. Yes. You are a what? Champion. You are a what? Champion. Hashtag what? Keep, Keep on, on going. going. Real oh quick in about one minute. Then we're going to you, Tere. I gave you time to get ready over there, girl. I gave she's you time got, to, get, to get set up. Um, yeah, why ready. is it important right I'm now for folks to keep on going? Just in about one, about one minute or two. Why yeah. is it important for people to keep on going? And everybody who's writing, you are a champion. We yes. appreciate you. Uh, Sh Sherry Wallace put, you are a champion. Yes. Candy put, you Thank are you. a champion, by the way. We appreciate that. Stevie, we appreciate you. Stevie, we appreciate you, by the way. Jatan said, hashtag keep on going. Sakoni yes. Prince says, you are a champion. Uh, Shawnee Davis says, you are a champion. You see that there? Yeah. Tanisha put, you are a champion. Kiana F. Fields Brown said, you are a champion. Hashtag wow. keep on what? Going. Okay. Hashtag what? Keep on going. Why is that important? Then we're going right to Taria. Why is that important? I, I believe a lot of us may not want to tell our story because we don't believe that it may be as impactful. But once you open up and you put it on the pages, it can really truly change someone's life but if it's principles if it's strategies whatever it may be I thank you if any of you guys are an author definitely put that in the hashtag below author that you are an author you put yourself out there you were bold enough to say you know what I'm gonna keep on going I'm gonna share my story and you were bold enough to go ahead and do that it's important share your story share your strategies share your principles don't keep it to yourself be strong be bold get out there keep on going God, I love I love how you say that you are a champion. You, you're, just, you're, you're perfect. You are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. Now, when someone wrote those words, hit the heart button. When someone hit the words, hit the like button. When someone hit the, you saw those words coming through the feed, say, yes, you are a champion. Let's encourage each other. Now, let's go over to Terea. Yes. Terea, talk to us about yes, a challenge sir. you had, a lesson you learned, and why it's important to keep on going. Over to you. Um, well, first of all, let me just tell you, it ain't a challenge. It's all the thousands. I don't know. I feel like it's thousands of challenges. That's you true. know, whenever you, I always say, whenever you are striving to do something great and impact the world, or even if it's impacting a person, you're going to go through challenges. And so I guess I can, let me think of uh, the most recent um, challenge maybe mm -hmm. that I've had uh, in the process of transitioning. So I've been transitioning businesses for some years now, mm -hmm. but I knew that it was time for me to step into a different platform and to be able to attract different people. And I had went through some different experiences. And so with that, I decided that, you know, that's why I decided to write a newer book or a newer version of my book. Um, but guys, when we talk about challenges, I mean, most of the transitions that's ever happened or the paradigm shifts that's ever happened in my life, they have happen because of possibly setbacks or what we may call lessons. And those lessons allow me to then take that 
moment in time and turn that into an opportunity where I could help other people, whether it be learning how to be a better speaker, learning how to you know overcome fear, learning how to push through depression. I literally wrote a book about overcoming depression. And so for me, um, anytime I've ever experienced that, I use those challenges as opportunities because I believe that none of us go through pain without a purpose. And with the Ooh. purpose, then you should be paid, okay? And I'm serious about that. I, I feel that God would not put us through anything for just ourselves. And when you go through those challenges, now you have to be able to help that other person who currently is going through that challenge right now and help them get out of that, whether it's overcoming a divorce or getting a man or getting a woman, losing weight, being happy, any of these types of things that many of us just kind of don't really think about because it's life, but there's people right now who are looking for that help. And that's how you can translate that into an opportunity for you to build a business. Wow, you know, I love what you said. You said no pain, no what purpose? What, what did you say again? Say that again a little, you know, one more you know, time. Go Absolutely. You don't go through pain without a purpose. And with the purpose, you should be paid. And I'm serious about that. You should definitely learn how to leverage what you've been through in life to help other people. And this is the deal. And I know you guys understand this. People respect what they pay for. And so that's where when I've come into the space of charging my value, that's because people respect that dollar. They respect what they invest in. And so for all of you guys, whatever you've been through, remember that pain was for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Wow, your pain was for a purpose. Someone jot that down right now. Put your pain was for a, a what purpose. purpose. And oh. then put at Terea. Just put your pain is what? For a purpose. A at purpose. Terea. Yeah. Your pain. Do vision, do vision Avant, because most people can't spell my name. So oh, okay. vision Avant is fine. Vision, vision Avant. Avant. She said put hashtag yes. vision Avant. Put hashtag yes, vision sir. Avant. So I want you to look right below the video and put your, your pain is what is again? Your pain you is for a purpose. Your pain is for a purpose, and with the purpose you should be paid. Wow. When when you, when you hear those words, what, what what kind what kind of goes through your mind? <sighs> pain to promotions, obstacles, to opportunities. Um, it just reminds me of some of the things that even for me personally, as I'm working through my company, there's so many things, there's so many pain points as an entrepreneur, if, you, if you're really real about it. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to translate that into something that is profitable? Mm -hmm. Into mm -hmm. a book. You know, these life lessons aren't for you just to trip up and everybody's tripping up over those things, but who's gonna tell the story about it? Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. Who's going to tell the story about it? I'm looking here and I see Rosetta. Hey, Rosetta, thanks for joining, by the way. Candy put, your pain is for your purpose. Kim Carroll put, my pain was for my purpose. I love yes. that. Yes. Uh, Mikabo, I think I spelled that right. Your pain was for a purpose. Yes. Uh, Morris put, your pain was for a purpose. Yes. V Speak Life, your pain was for a purpose. I'm hearing yes, yes, yes. My pain was for a purpose. You know, Terea, you work with authors all over the world. Wow. What's one of the pains they have? in their business that holds them back from achieving their purpose. Yes, we're going to talk about how to turn your book into a what? ATM. Wow. I can't wait. Ch ching, 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 right? <laughs> but, 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 but I want you to, I want you to take a moment. We're going to slow down, then we're going to speed up. Okay. Take a moment okay. to talk about some of the pain that the authors you work with, that they have in really being able to step into their purpose and get paid. So for you that's listening out there, that's already an author, um, that, that maybe is thinking about writing your book, and you want to know, yeah, I, if these pains and these problems resonate with you, then I want you to hit the heart button. I want you to tune in. I want you to listen very carefully. Um, Terea, can, can we ask them if they have a book? Can they highlight their book? Is that, is that okay? Yeah, please. Uh, are you put sure? Put your book up there. Okay, okay, yeah, please put your book. There's some people don't like you to do that because they're like, well, oh, Shay, they're oh, advertising. Oh. But you are you okay with that? That's the whole purpose. No, because, you know, when you take a candle and then you turn it onto it and touch another candle, mm -hmm. it actually makes it a brighter room. It doesn't dim the room. So I don't have a problem with lighting other people's candles. Oh, she please. Is, she is amazing. So, okay, so we're going we're gonna to do some. I didn't know we were going to do this. Yeah. Are, are you okay with seeing the books they have? I would love to. Okay, so here's what we like to do. You have permission from Terea, and we want to spotlight you, the author, you, the book. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to look right below the video. You're going to look right below the video, and I want you to put the name, the purpose of my book is blank, and then put the name of your book. Wow. How's that? So tell us at least what the purpose is. Yeah. So the purpose of my book is to help people uh, transform their lives. I don't know. Right. The purpose of so, my book so is to help you. Before we get into that, though, Shay, because uh, that's going to be one of the challenges, I can already tell you. 
You, how do you know? Tell us, give, tell us, tell us, tell us okay, okay. She says, don't put that down. Here's what we're going to do. You just put your book, the name of your book, and I want you to put the website to your book. How's that? Does there that you go. Cool. Okay, okay. So now, if you don't, if you haven't written your book yet, and it could, it could be an e-book, right? Okay. It could be a book that's in print. Mm -hmm. um, and for tonight, this morning, this afternoon, whatever time they're watching, put the book that you want to write. Oh. So the book that maybe isn't yeah. written yet. So it's here's. It's in your journal. It's you in may your be, journal. You may be journaling. Yeah, it's in your yeah. journal. So I want yeah. you to look right below the video. Look right below the video. Now we're going to acknowledge your book. So put the name of my yeah. book is blank. Have you written uh, the book yet? Yes. Okay, so the name of my book is what? Speak Up. Okay, and is there a site they can get that at? Yes, you can go to either Amazon.com or ProSpeakerService.com. Okay, okay. So the name of my book is Sales Swagger. Yeah, how about that? I wrote the only book on sales swag. What's up, Justin? It's Justin Burns. Burns. No. He's he's crashing, Terea, He's crashing the party. What, what's going on, man? You you. This is hey, Justin, Justin Burns. Uh, Justin Burns. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Well, why don't we, why don't we put you in the middle? Come on. Let's, we're gonna put you right here. Oh my I, I feel I feel weird just sitting right next to him. Uh, and actually, I should put you on this side. Okay. No, okay. 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 Now, now you gotta squeeze over this. No, no. You gotta squeeze over. Squeeze yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cause see the camera's there. You're good. The camera's there. Oh, so you gotta. So you gotta. See the camera. Okay. This shows you what's going on Got here. You. This well, goes in there. Well, let her wait. She's but there, about to go into a really no, no, good no. Point. I'm, I'm, I'm letting them put the name of the book let's down. Go. I'm just letting them know who the strange guy that just showed up. His name is. <laughs> so we'll turn it. So you might have to sit a little bit this way so you can get on the camera almost. Okay. He's See, good. He's good. Yeah, he's great. Okay, 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 good. And you good. good? Okay, I'm good. Okay, so this is Justin Burns. They're putting the name of their book. He's having an event. He's the founder of Maestro, which we'll you talk about in the middle. Book. We're going to talk. Game plan book. It's game plan book. They're putting the name of their book down right now. So Dee Bowden has a book. The name of her book is Entrepreneur Elevation. Elevation. Now, if Just you have a name of the book, what's up, Markeith Braddock? Do you have a book yet, Markeith? Um, so Coney Prince says the name of his book is Are You Climbing the Wrong Mountain? Now, Terea is looking at the name of these books, by the way. She's looking right below the video. They're not putting where the web where the website is to get it, by the way. Isn't that oh, crazy? Yeah. Like, if I had a book, I would, I would <laughs> tell them, I would put the website where I can get the book now. at. Uh, v Speak has a book. She says... Shift Masterpiece, A Story of Love and Horror in Savannah, Georgia. Now, did she put a link to her mm. book? Ooh. She, she got a link. She got a yeah, link. Okay, does. okay, okay. Yeah. We can get the book. Um, now, how do you pronounce this name? Nope. I tried. You tried? Right. Okay. I tried. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah. to okay. phonetically spell it it's so we late. know. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Tedum. Tedum. I always mess it up. Too. She knows. She knows. Him. Okay. Yeah, that's one of, our, uh, one of my students. It's one, of, hey. it's one of your students. She okay. has a lot of students in here right now. The name now. of his book is In Pursuit yeah. of Purpose. Thanks a lot. We got that there. Uh, Katrina Bennett. What's the name of her book? Can you read that? Yeah. Grace to Recover. Grace to Recover. Oh, y'all got some great books, How man. to Break Free of the Secrets, Fear and Loss, Holding You Captive with the Power of Loving of a Loving God. Oh, that's so some that's so some some of y'all have yeah. a podcast and y'all looking for speakers. You're looking for authors. You're looking for right. people to spotlight right. in your book, by the way. Le they all Le in here too. For what did, what did she put? What's the name of her book? The name of her book is Unleashed Anointing. Unleashed Anointing. Now, what we're allowing everyone to do right now is take a moment and post the name of your book and the website. And Terea, Terea, yeah, Terea, and you got it right now. Terea, in just a moment, going is going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. You do it, it to me too. You do I'm it working to me on too. it. Right? You do it to okay. Me. When you when you see Trevor, tell Trevor I need like uh, something in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. Because I'm, I'm trying to watch the sound over here. I'm watching the monitor. I'm watching this. I get distracted really easily. By the way. We got you. Though. Okay, y'all got me. Okay. We got you. We got you okay. We got you. Okay. L. A. Buford said, "Keep on going." Yeah, I'm gonna keep on going. I ain't gonna let them clown me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I believe. Um, Okay, they're putting the name of their book down, yeah. and if you don't have a book, you're putting the book that's in your journal that you're going to write one day. Justin, we're going to put Justin on the spot. Okay. Do you have a book? I do have a book. Okay, what is the name of your book? It's called The Expert Code, and you can find that at theexpertcode.com. Oh, he showed up. He, come on, come on, he, he, he was walking by. He didn't know he was down here. He was just walking by. We're down here in Atlanta. We're in the hotel. He has a big event coming up tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be yes. off the chain, MemberCon Live. Look, go to memberconlive.com. It is truly amazing. All right, I'm coming to you, Tere. Tere, I haven't forgot you. What, can, you see, can you announce that name? Okay, Deton, first book. The power yeah, of the Yeah, we call her Jay. That's yeah. Jay. Hey, Jay. What's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? Jay got a book. I wow. can't wait. I can't What's wait. What's up, Jay? I changed my mind. Is now, now Marquise said his name is Marquise Braden. You better learn. <laughs> Braden. First of all, I called out the name. <laughs> <laughs> if it was me, I'd be like, thank you. No, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be like, thank you for no, just calling my name out. for you now. <laughs> <laughs> 
know because they know you got it wrong before. No, no, they know you no, got it wrong before. No, they, 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 out for you. No, they're like somebody, somebody's <laughs> listening. I want to make sure they know my name. That, Mark, he has, he has a book. Okay, that's cool. All right, Terea, I'm gonna go back and look at the books that are on here. Take a moment and talk about what is one of the pains that authors have um, as they're trying to get their book out. Yeah. And I know you're gonna talk about how to get paid and how to turn your book into an ATM. And I'm, I'm excited. I couldn't wait. Um, Justin stopped by. He's he's got to prepare for something early in the morning. I'm not long yeah. gonna hang with us, but he stopped yeah, by I'm for not a moment. Hang long. I gotta. No. Okay. No, we I get it. it. All right. We get it. All right, Terea, talk talk to us. Absolutely. Well, hello, hey Justin. What's up? What's up? What's cracking? Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that T-shirt. Is it possible? Can I get a T-shirt like that? I need a T-shirt. Like What's that? You gotta come to the conference to get this shirt. It's Where is only Trevor Ott? Wow. Where's, Tre where's your T-shirt? Where's Trevor? Ott? How come I have a, a cool <laughs> design T-shirt? None of us have a cool T-shirt. For attendees and so and I'll no, tell no, y'all. No, no, that no, no. I might bless y'all, but um. <laughs> I'll wear the shirt, what, but I'm gonna talk to Trevor about that. I need a shirt. Golly. You know, that's a nice shirt. That's a nice shirt. But wait, wait, wait. But wait, wait, wait. What's most important right now? The the craziness that authors have going. She's about to go tell us. Okay, okay. I'm I, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Gonna, okay. I'm about to take notes. Okay. Take every, everyone. Get your paper. Get your pen. Get ready. It's time to take notes. Go ahead, Tere. I'm gonna turn it over to you. Okay. Well. Well. First of all, I, I just want to explain that 80 percent of most authors who write books don't make a full time income with their book. And How so, what and, and, what and there's major reasons behind that, mm -hmm. why people don't really make money. And as a matter of fact, this is what I want to do is, okay. I always like to use this as an example of, it's first not, of all, how are you going to make book, books sell? Okay. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you going to make a book sell? And, and this is very important. First of all, guys, when you're writing the books, you got to remember that most people, when they make a decision to buy a book and I'm talking about people in the self-help space mm -hmm. you know Justin uh, founder of Maestro he'll tell you the information space is huge we're talking about a hundred billion dollar industry mm -hmm. from anywhere people are googling all types of stuff how to be happy mm -hmm. how to lose weight how to get a raise yeah. how to get a man how to get a woman how to break up with my man I mean, there's so many spaces of information that we can be in. And I always tell people, if somebody Googles it, they'll also pay for it. OK, so if they'll mm. Google it, they'll pay for it. And what most of I us like do and what most authors do is we write about a topic that most people are not searching for. And I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody. If you did take the time to tell your story and write your story, first <laughs> of all, that's awesome because it'll always be here. It's something that leaves a legacy. But most cases, people are not waking up and saying, I want to know the life story of Taria Avant, at least not yet. See, the time when it's time for me to do that is when I no longer have to tell people my story. So like when I walk in the room and they're like, oh, my God, that's Taria Avant, like the whole room. That's when you write the bio. But until then, what we need to do is create something that somebody is searching for. So mm. I always tell my authors, do not get emotional about the content get emotional about the results that you're giving to people and when you learn to not be emotional about the content but the results then you'll be able to produce better pro product right so these are the pain points number one is creating a title that no matter what when somebody looks at it they automatically say you know what i need that book right so, so I, need I heard that you correctly book. pain point number one is creating a what a title, title. So, all, so, all of, so all of my digital note takers, do me a favor real quick, do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video and put pain point number one is what? Titles are Write important. a title that sells. Okay. Right, right, so that right set up a title the that result. sells. Title that sells. Yep. So pain point number one, and if you want to turn your book into an ATM machine, yep. you got to number one, have a title yep. that sells. Now, once you think about your title yes. right now, does it sell? So look right below the video, look right below the video yeah. and write these words. Pain point number one, title yes. that sells. Good job. This is very yes. important because some of you, if you just do that right, well, the machine starts going, what do you go? Because you kill it. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> and you know like, what? If you, if you, if you said that, I thought about my own title. title. It sucks. My, my title sucks. No, it just yeah, sells. I don't like, no, my, I don't, I don't like my title no more. It's just sales swagger. I love my title. It's just sales swagger. That title sucks. Now, this is the deal, though. So you can have a title. That's like that. And then the subtitle then can make the promise. So even if your title is like breakthrough, 
that's great, but we need to know what's the promise. What is the breakthrough? How to break through from your Ooh, whatever, or how to you know promise. how to get over this. So you need to make that's sure amazing. that even if you have the title, the subtitle is going to give the promise, so that people know automatically. You don't have to explain to people what is this book about. You got to be able to do that. Wow. So so Jarvis K. Taylor put a title that sells, but I want you to catch what she said after that. The subtitle is the promise that you're going to deliver in the book. That's pretty key. I mean, you know, folks that do like yourself do copywriting and understand yeah. the importance yeah. of this. Yeah. The subtitle is, I didn't know that. The subtitle is, what's the subtitle again? She said a that promise. The promise. promise. Okay, what's the promise. The promise? And, I, and I'm to. saying that for you guys, for you to listening. Yeah. I, I think, oh, mm -hmm. and Kim said, and, and I want. Uh, good, uh, now, go ahead. Did our, she, that you did their cover for them, uh, for the Just Say Yes book. Tell Kim us who? Yeah, yeah well, we've done, we've done several covers. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so she needs to brag. She needs to brag. Can you tell us about that? Can you tell us about that cover real quick? Uh, well, I mean, I, again, that's just another one of our collaboration books. Exactly. I mean, I have a yeah. hundred <laughs> authors right now. So we've Kim Carroll, she loves you. Lot. Kim Carroll, she loves you. Trust me. Kim, well, show us a picture of your book. Too. Hey, Lou. Kim, show us the cover of that book. I want to see it. It's the Just Say Yes book. Can, is I is, is, see is it possible to post like. their covers in here? Yeah. Okay, so if you have a cover of your book, okay, you, kinda, yeah. you guys are just going off. Just if you have a it. cover of your book, I know. go ahead and take a picture of it, and you can post it below. Um, I don't want, I'm, I know I keep disturbing Terea, but she's working hard over here. But we want to see the cover of the book. Uh, we want to see the, want to see the cover of the book. So take okay, a picture. Of that particular, I want to see that No, no, because I, I, I saw someone's book. Did you have? Who's, who's, who's book you had up there? They had their link there. Who, That's who, why whose book is that? that? Then oh, it's it's Stephanie Marshall's Passion oh. and Purpose by Stephanie Marshall. Oh, Passion and Purpose. I Go like ahead, that. Stephanie. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, Stephanie. so Stephanie, that's Stephanie put her link in. Her, her book popped up. We like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Isabel said her book covers are awesome. Oh, oh fire. no. Whatever. Awesome. Whatever. Fire. Her book Thank covers you, are fire. Be a good co-host. Fire. Be a good no, 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 no. She, look, look, you got. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I've lost control. See, when it's just me here, I don't have this problem. Okay, I really don't. I'm sorry about the lead. But, but I show up and I hang out for a few minutes. I only give him a few minutes over here. And We're giving her shout outs because her people obviously love her. She has her tribe here. They are cheering her on. That you've done great work. So I'm just, I'm proud. The short answer is work with Terea immediately. Okay, immediately. Immediately. Because you, have to you, have to, you, you to need a title to sell. Someday. I'm trying to show him how to get this money. So, the next you know. Tip. The next tip. We, 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 got, we, we got time. Go ahead. Go next ahead. Tip. It's, next it's tip. okay. Relax. Well, we're you not, know, we're people going with pitches fans be real short, you know. They, look, they're, 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 they're not going anywhere. Okay, Lonja, I don't go nowhere. I want to make sure. They don't know. They have never done this broadcast with that. We'll be on two hours. They ain't going nowhere. All right, Terea, continue on. Continue on, Terea, okay. continue on. Okay, so you've made the promise, right? So mm -hmm. you have the promise. So this one is a book we came out, Life of an Entrepreneur, and it says a step-by-step -step guide to starting a profitable business with entrepreneurs of all types. And this is a collaboration book. So we already know exactly a little bit what this book is about. Now, the next thing is the back cover. Oh. The back so, cover is important? This, Because this is what people Great. do. When they make a decision to buy, they look at the front, to see what the promise is, and then if it's catchy enough, they flip it over. Right. How many of you guys have seen that? And, and if you have, I just want to know who's seen people do that to their book. Oh, yeah. They'll flip it over to the back to see mm. what the back of the cover looks like, right? Okay. Yeah. Now, this is the most important thing. We live in a society where, guys, people really, honestly, they don't want to read a big, long bio or a big, long, you know, page of a whole lot of information. Right. You've got to be able to, first of all, start your book off with some trigger type questions or at least something that pops out so that they know that this book is for them. Now, in collaboration books, we do it a little bit different. Okay. But like if it's a book that somebody's doing by themselves, generally, I start off with questions like, you know, like. Um, I like to call them qualifier questions. So like, are you tired of being single? Uh, do you know that there's a person out there for you, but you don't know where he is? And Ooh. you want to get that person in the yes Ooh. mode, right? So let's say this book is about dating. And so you want that person to be like, yes, That's fine. yes, yes. Like, I need the book. Like, you don't mm -hmm. even want them to have to go any further. And so a lot of times what people will do is put their biography on the back. Mm -hmm. Most people don't really care about your biography. And I, guys, I just, please listen to me on this. They don't, they don't, people they don't care. Want to know how you finna help me? How okay. How are you going me? to help That's me? Correct. 
So that's what somebody's looking to see. So you want to make sure that you are given those qualifiers, but you also need to break it up so that things pop out. Because what they're looking is like a couple of seconds to see real quick. How is this going to help me? So like on the back of this, it says, who is this book for? And then it says, what will you learn from this book? So that pops out and we have it. We have colors. We have different colors. We have, you know, you see pictures. We even have some um, contact details. And that's the final thing I'm going to add with the back cover. Because, guys, we do live in a world of social media and Internet. Now, if somebody, you know, let's just say somebody buys your book and your book covers looking real fly and fabulous. Most people like to show that they buy books. So they'll leave your book on the table, on the counter or something like that's that. True. And that, then let's that's just true. Say, I'm guilty of the other one. We have a good cover. They like to, you know, show nice. off like, look, you know, I'm reading. Yeah. And the person's going to somebody's going to pick up your book. And they're going to look at it, but they can't take it because it's not theirs. Mm -hmm. You know what people mess up? They don't put no contact information on the back cover. Mm. You should definitely do that. So even if they can pull out their phone real quick, they can take a picture, follow you on the gram or Facebook or LinkedIn, go to your website and purchase your book right then and there. So those are just a couple of tips that I want to give for that back cover. Um, so, so they so, look at the so, front. So if I'm, if I'm doing the steps correctly, step number one was have a title and a subtitle with a promise. That's right. step number one. Yes. Step number two was have the right design on the back of the cover and do yes. not focus on your bio right you can do a little bit but that's not even most okay. people not even gonna read that they okay. just want to know what is this book gonna help me i need to know what's you know wh who is this for and how is this gonna help me yeah. so just break it down and generally even in the part where it say what you will learn i just take the chapter titles uh -huh. or something like that and that's i put a few of the chapter titles on the back to say this is what you're gonna learn in the book right so do me, do me a favor for those folks that are out there. Put step number one, a title, um, a, right? right? The title matters. Right. With, the, with, with, subtitle. with a subtitle that has the promise of the book, and then number two on the back of the book, focus on the design and don't worry about the bio. Focus on the design and don't worry about the bio. Right. Now, as you're listening right now, she's she's just getting started. She's getting warmed up. I know Justin's got to get prepared for tomorrow morning, yeah. so I know he'll be leaving and I gotta shortly. I got to make sure Justin and, and, is taken and, care of. And I know you got to make sure Justin's yes. taken care of, so you're yes. about to go. Um, as I was doing it, I'm going to have them make a commentary and, and how wonderful she is. But for all the folks that are out there, do me a favor. Look below the video, and let's give Terea a warm welcome. If you're doing a good job. Um, just say, Terea, you're doing great. Terea, you look wonderful. Terea, thank you so much. <laughs> She's just getting started. Say, Terea, we love, love you. Me. Just just go and give a little encouragement because, you know, when you get started sometime and you show up, she's given her best. She didn't ask for any cash app payment. She didn't ask for a Zelly payment. She didn't ask for a credit card or a check. She serve and give the best that she has. So do me a favor. Let's give her a little encouragement. Let's give her a little a pat on the back. Let's let her know we appreciate her. So everyone that's watching right now, look right below the video. Now, look. This is your time. Even if you ain't done nothing else, hit the heart button. Hit yes. the like button. Yes. Just put, Terea, you rock. Yes. Put that yes. right below. And as they're doing that, i like for you, I know you got to run. So, so just, take, just take one minute and just say what you enjoy most about Terea does and why it's important. So I think it's like, uh, I met Terea about a year ago, but one of, one of the big things that I love about what she does is I think what separates from everybody else is like she gets results mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. like there's a lot of people out there who help people write books mm -hmm. but she's the one that i like i hear her students i hear their wow. success stories i hear her actually making money right because mm -hmm. like we talk about you don't want to create information you want to create what transformation transformation so yes. with terea if you work with her you're going to get transformation and wow. that's what I've experienced. Because I know this. Like, I like working with the best. Shay. I don't know yeah. about you guys. The best. Yeah, I like working with the best of the best. Absolutely. Now, for me, I tried to write my book. It wasn't a pretty picture. Okay? <laughs> I don't even want you to read my book. I don't want you to read my book. I'm embarrassed. Listen, listen. <laughs> I don't know why I kept writing it, but I kept writing it. I was like, I can write this. I can tell my story. Yes, I can write this. Why did I go hire Terea? I have no idea why to do that. Right. So, listen. If you guys are watching this, oh, I'm man. telling you the best of the best when it comes to helping people write their book, getting the knowledge out there through the mm. book, and monetizing mm. yeah. none other than Terea. You have to work with her. Terea, great, great job. Yeah. Thanks, right, thanks so a lot, I man. Gotta, I know you, I I know you gotta run. I'm tired. Thank you, guys. <laughs> when he popped there, he walked by and said, what are you doing? Well, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you take a minute as well yeah. and share, yeah. you know, one of the reasons, why are you doing that? Can I get 30 seconds sure. to say, Navah Hare says she's number one. Yes. Kim Carroll says she's the queen of entrepreneurship. Wow. Isabel said, that's the truth. Yvette Wright says, wonderful, Terea. Jatan Saunders said, Jay. Jay says, yes, she gets results. 
Andrea Hyman. You got Andrea Hyman on here. She's from Boston. Andrea, what's up? She travels all over the world. Uh, oh, she said, you rock, by the way. Sherry Luz Randall said, you rock. Yes. E.R. Spaulding. You got E.R. Spaulding in the house. Oh, you know, you know, yeah. you know, you know, it's just off the chain. It, it's just off the chain. The, mm-hmm. show, the show just lost its mind. You know, you know, do you realize I did two conference calls a day and two broadcasts? Here we are. I'm, just I'm loving this. This is amazing. Uh, Candy says, Terea is the bomb.com. She will tell you how to get the money. You want to you wanna turn your book into an ATM? We just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I, we lost at the beginning because we just we, we, we got, got, got crazy. Um, Terea put, um, St- Stevie, Stevie, like Stevie Wonder yeah. says, Terea, you are rocking it. Factor for real. All right, what do you, what do you enjoy most about it, All by right. the way? My lasting um, departing words are just a little bit of information that she just gave just helps somebody. About not putting all everything, don't, not being attached that emotional attachment. Sure. I think a lot of us get so caught up in, I, and that's what delays I think a lot of people. So she just helps somebody I think where they could be delayed because they feel they put their feelings into it, mm-hmm. as opposed to hey, I need to do this, this, and this, mm-hmm. and this, and this. Front cover, yeah. back cover, and she just helped a lot of people contact information. People loved your book. They want to put it out there for others to read, and you didn't put your contact information out there. Womp womp. So I think she did amazing. Just explained those like key pieces that I mm-hmm. think are just going to help people. And I, I'm going to watch the rest of this right now, but I'm going to make sure that Justin takes care of business for tomorrow. But you do what womp, you got to do. Womp 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 womp. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm now <laughs> back in the driver's seat. Bye. I'm back to the driver's seat. We just getting yes. started. Look, this show is just getting started. If you're out there right now and you're like, hey, Shay, I want to get the notes of this. Hey, Shay, um, I want to be part of the tribe. You can go be, come over to Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. Look, you don't need a credit card. You don't need no checkbook. Here's what I want you to do. We're going to give you the notes, give you the bonus gift, and give you the business toolbox. You see it right below the video, but here's what I want you to do. Because I want you to get the notes. I want you to know how to turn this into a, an ATM machine, and she's going to give her contact information. Look right below the, go pick up your cell phone now. We're going to just pause for a moment. Pick up your cell phone. I want you to text the word revenue. Text the word revenue. So you would get your cell phone out, like <clears throat> I have mine right here. You're going to open up your browser. What's up, Katina? Open up your browser, and I want you to go over to Messenger, and I want you to type these words, revenue. Type in revenue, and then text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. It's right below the video. Get your phone out right now. Text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Now, I I just wasn't going to do this, but now I want to make sure not only get the replay of this, I want to make sure you get the notes from this, and we're going to do a special super duper bonus gift for you, and make sure you get the business toolbox, okay? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to do it right now. When now? When is the best time to take action? Right now. And then we're going to hit the, we're going to go into over, we're going to warp speed in just a moment, but text the word revenue. So you open up your phone right now, go to the browser in Messenger, type in the word revenue, R-E-V-E-N-U-E. After you type in the word revenue, then you're going to text it to this number. Here's the number you're going to text it to, 202-999-3515. So what are you going to do? Text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Do me a favor, someone, one of the digital note takers out there that's taking all these wonderful notes and putting so many wonderful things about Terea up in the, in the cloud, in the space, on this digital board, go ahead and put this down. Text the word revenue to 202 202- nine 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 three five one five to get your bonus gift get the notes and the replay why shay because this is your year why shay because this is your time why shay it's time not just to write a book it's time not just to tell a story but it's time to turn that story into an atm and when i was talking to terea and i was talking to her i said you know are you gonna help people write a book she said shay it's not about the story Shay, it's not about them just having a message. It's about them having impact on lives and writing something that communicates with them. That's where the missing piece is. I said, whoa, no one ever said that. They just said, you got a story, go tell it. Somebody wants to hear it. Yeah, wanting to hear it, wanting to buy your book, wanting to bring you in for a podcast, wanting to bring you in on their show, wanting to have you speak on their stage. That's a different conversation. So you're talking to the one person on the planet that I know right now that if you are an author or inspiring author, you need to connect 
with Urban CEO. She's the founder of Urban CEO, and so she that's, helps. That's you. two different companies, Shane. You oh, I know. Got two I already, I already, I already know it's two different companies. My book company is Show Your Success. Right, right, right. But I just thought I'd be cool. I like the, I like Urban CEO. It just, oh, just it just sounded <laughs> cool tonight, like Urban CEO. But look, 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 look. In all seriousness, um. All you note takers, Ken, Candy, thanks so much for putting out there. Text the word revenue to 202 999 3515. We've got something special. Um, she's going to come right now and she's going to break it down for you. I'm going to just grab some water. Can, can I grab some? Uh oh, oh, I hit the wrong button. Can, can, I, can I grab some water at my, my computer? My yeah, it went uh, blank. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay. What I want to do right now, I'm going to just grab some water. Can I grab some water? And I'm going to turn it to you because I love what you do. I love the difference that you make. Uh, give me one second, my thing. I want to make sure it don't freeze up on us over here. You know, I'm on a, I'm on a hotel internet over here. Come on, somebody. <laughs> y'all right. know, about, know about a hotel bless internet? The, bless the net. Bless uh -huh. the net. <laughs> what did you say? Bless it, did you say? Bless the Bless the net. Bless the net. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. When I came up, I was like, oh, this is not going to be good. Just one second. Here we go. All right. Uh, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm give us a second. Hey, Cat Piss, thanks for joining. And then she's going to come back and she's going to break it down. Uh, give us about a minute here. I'm going to play this. And then we're going to... I live in a city where there are more creative people per square mile than any other place on the planet. Question is, how many of them are successful? How many are just like I was, talented and broke? Being broke is more than just not having money. It's failure to turn opportunities into profitable businesses and relationships that last. <laughs> My mother always said, people perish for lack of knowledge. A compass takes you in the direction of your destiny, but knowledge of obstacles and distractions will ensure you arrive safely. My mentor once said to me, if I had half your talent, I'd have four times my wealth. Since then, I made a promise to God, if he would help me unlock my earning potential, I would pay it forward and help others do the same. That's why I wrote this book. Because God made us too talented to live our lives broke. And that includes you. The reason I wanted to, to, to share that with you, share that message, yeah, I needed to get some water, yeah, I need to check on the index, I'm at the hotel, I needed to do that. But I, I want you to, to have this mindset. I want you to have this mantra, and I want this to be what you tell yourself seven times a day over the next seven days. As you hear now, to Ray, I'm not going to interrupt her again for another couple minutes. And you hear her talk about how to turn your book into an ATM. She's walking you step by step how to do that. I'm going to encourage you to connect with her. But here's what I want you to do, Antoinette. Here's what I want you to do, Michael Murner. Here's what I want you to do, Isabel. I want us all to look below the video. We're going to have this decoration. We're going to have this mantra. Write these words. Refuse to live talented and broke. I'm, I'm going to say that again. Refuse to live talented yes. and broke. Hashtag I am enough. Here's what I want you to do. Oh, here's what I want you to do. But you look right below the video because she's going to walk you through how to turn your story and your book into an ATM. And I want you to have this mindset. Broke is relevant. Broke might mean that you don't have enough money to go pay your mortgage off tomorrow. Broke might mean you can't write a check to pay the insurance for your loved ones. Whatever broke means to you. I want you to write these words right below. Hey, Jay, Twan, write these words right below. Refuse to live talented and broke. Hashtag I am enough. Someone hit the share button. Someone hit the share button. But I want you to write this word down first. Write this down. Refuse to live talented and broke. Hashtag I am enough. Sherry Lewis Randall, I see you. Isabel, I see you. Refuse to live talented and broke. Now I'm going to turn it over to Terea because she's going to show you why. I don't want you to get inspired. I don't want you just to be motivated. I don't want you to be shouting up and down. I want you now to listen with new ears. 
watch with new eyes as she walks you through this. You have the number one expert in the world who can walk you through it. And I don't know where else I would send you right now in this moment. So Michael Reed, who put, refuse to live talented and broke, hashtag I am enough. Tanisha Maria Johnson put, refuse to live talented and broke, I am enough. D. Bowden put, refuse to live talented and broke, I am enough. Tell yourself this seven times a day for the next seven days. I'm not going to leave you out there hanging. I'm not going to, uh, Therese about to do the hard work, but, but I, I want to acknowledge Stevie, I want to acknowledge Stephen Marshall, I want to acknowledge Nevi here, I want to acknowledge Jarvis K. Taylor. Jarvis, I gotta have you on the show. Jarvis is a regular student, he is, he is hard at it. Refuse to live talented and broke. A hashtag, I am enough. And I want you to pay that message forward to someone else. When you see them tomorrow, when you talk to another entrepreneur, when you talk to someone who's written a book, when you talk to someone that has a story, you tell them, look, you refuse to live talented and broke. Hashtag, I am enough. With that being said, Tere, I'm going to turn it over to you. You go ahead and walk it through. Look, I have my notes. Take it away, Tere. And I want to thank all y'all who are taking notes and all of y'all who texted in the word revenue, who texted in the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Just follow the instructions and we'll make sure we get you another special text message so you get all of the bonus gifts that we're promising. You are enough. And I believe in you. Tere. I'm gonna turn over to you. I gotta, I gotta new, I gotta get a new book, girl. I gotta sit down with you. We, we gotta sit down tomorrow. Yeah, we, we gotta get some stuff it is done. Time, yeah. It is time. And now I'm, now I know what to do. I thought I just like just yeah. say something. Someone yeah. be happy. Yeah, you already, you know. Um, and and I want to shout out some people too that are watching on this other story because they're not popping up on both. So Miriam, okay. Tiger, Erica, Shalanda, Kim. I see you guys. Uh, Cause they also say refuse to live talented and broke hashtag. I am enough. You know, Shay, you know, one thing people always ask me the question to how many books have you sold? <laughs> and let me tell you something. Yeah. If your focus is only on selling books, mm -hmm. you're not yeah. making enough money. I don't know how many books I've sold. Cause I've probably given away more than I can even count guys. It's about mm -hmm. how much money does the book help you to make? I can tell you as a result of being an author, what income we have earned. So I want us to start thinking on a bigger scale because what happens guys is when you write the right book, when you write the right book, not only are you going to make money from the sales, not only are you going to make money from your, you know, your information, whether it be coaching one on one, but you can also create products and services that you can sell within the book. So one of the gifts that I believe that God has given me, cause it's not, look, I'm gonna tell you, writing a book is just a vehicle. Teaching people how to write a book is a vehicle. Where my gift lies is being able to take what it is that you do and turn that into multiple streams of income. Mm. And a book allows you to be able to kind of like be that doctor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause think about it. When, when you write a book, I mean, I've literally, Shay, I've been on panels before. I wrote a book about depression. And it, the book was basically how to overcome depression, right? Mm -hmm. And I was sharing this information. And next thing you know, I had given a copy to a young lady who actually did conferences. Here's a little tip for you guys. You wanna speak on people's platforms and it's a numbers game. Sometimes you have to be willing to give up something that costs you maybe $5, because let's just be real how much a book costs to print. You give that to someone who is a decision maker. So I did that. And she said, hey, I want you to come and sit on this panel with doctors. Now, this is the crazy thing. I don't know any of these terms that they were using. They were talking about all this medical stuff. They were dramatology, monomenology. All I know is I was the woman who wrote about what I personally did to overcome depression, okay? At the end of that event, guess what line, or guess where everybody was standing? They were standing in line to speak to the woman who had the book about depression because they wanted to either buy the book or be coached by the woman with the book. And so that is one thing I want y'all to start thinking about. So you don't just write the book. You know who's a really great example that I love using? Joyce Myers. Okay. Joyce Myers has written more than 100, 125 books. And every time you see her, when she does a talk that she's getting paid to do, let's just be real, she's always mentioning a new book. So you write a book 
to write another book. You don't just get emotional about the one book because there's always information. Look at John C. Maxwell. How many books on leadership can one possibly write? But now he has the whole John C. Maxwell group thing, people paying five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. He has his conferences people are paying for. He has several books, so several streams of income, tools that you can buy, all types of things. And so when you're thinking about writing that book, guys, we've got to now turn that into multiple streams of income. But the key oh, is to good. write that's the good. right book i like that yes. write the right mm -hmm. book that's that's good keep on going that's that's good stuff and I, and I like the part that you mentioned about the importance of when you finish that book that you felt that's been a burning desire like the one you did because you just felt like it had to get done then to start yeah. thinking about the next message think about the next concept think about the next thing that you're teaching I love that, Joyce. I haven't, I had, I never thought about it that way. I'm, I'm, I'm like many of you right now. This is the first time I've been able to sit down uh, with Terea in this setting, and with Terea and actually hear, and hear her perspective. And while intellectually it makes sense, but she's able to take what we know and make it a reality. She takes what we Absolutely. know and make it a reality. I'm gonna turn it back over to her now. But I want you to make this note, and I want you to have this note down for yourself as I was thinking about myself. And I'm talking about myself, and I'm, I'm like, I'm in the front row. I'm like you right now. I'm like, oh my gosh, if I know that, I'd have, I would have driven over to Dallas. Where are you in Dallas, right? Houston. If I had known that, I'd have got on a plane and been in Dallas. I've been sitting right there with her. I'd have been with her all day long. Do me a favor. Here's something I want you to have in your notes, and this is just a principle. The best intentions do not equal the best results. I want you to hear that again. I want you to hear a little slower and I want you to write that down. Someone make a note right, right below the video, right below the video. Make this note. The best intentions do not equal the best results. For, so you might have the best intentions to tell your next story. You might have the best intentions right now that you're going to write this book. You might have the best intentions is going to be a bestseller. But guess what? The best intentions do not equal the best results. Shay, what's your point? What's your point? My point is, you don't have to get it right, you just got to get going. Get with Terea. You don't have to get it right, you just got to get going and get it into the hands of an expert that knows exactly what she's doing so she can take your message and pay it forth. If you're hearing what I'm saying, say, Shay, I feel you. Shay, holler at your boy. This is, this is powerful. All right, Terea, take it, take it away. I'm thinking to myself, I should have got a plane to Dallas. But seriously, I've never said that on the show ever. Houston. Houston, I'm sorry. Houston. I should have stayed That's in Houston. We, I can meet you in Dallas too. I like Dallas. Nah, nah, so. nah. I should have stayed with you. When I come back to San Antonio, I'm coming to Houston. It, it's worth okay. a day. Of, it's worth a day. You need to write a check. You need to spend some time with Terea. Terea, go right ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. So definitely, hopefully, you guys, your wheels are turning and things like that. Now, this is another cool thing mm. um, because a lot of times, guys, you know, I always tell people, don't look left, don't look right. In fact, I have this saying where I'm always talking about stay focused forward on what God has for you. Mm -hmm. So some of you guys, you like to do certain things, right? I don't know. Maybe some of you guys are really good at organizing. And so you want to figure out how can I take this organization and turn this into multiple streams of income. And believe it or not, y'all, I met a woman who actually is a professional organizer and she created like this program that she sells for $25,000. What? Let me tell you something. Shay. See, I had to do the... Did you hear me? I heard you. I was at this event. It was a conference I was at. And she was sharing her testimony how when she first got started, she was doing clients for like $150 an hour. And then she learned how to put together an information-based course. Mm -hmm. And she started targeting a certain caliber of people. Now, mm -hmm. this is one thing. If you want to target a certain caliber of people, sometimes you need to have the book that shows that you're the expert. It's kind of like now getting – it's like – getting that doctor, you know, but mm. you're an author, right? Yeah. So anyways, long story short, she created a program teaching people, you know, how to be organized and it was $25,000 and she was able to close, you know, now when you have a $25,000 program though, you don't have to close 10 million people. You only have to one close person. a few people. Yeah. <laughs> one, one client yeah. a quarter. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So all you got to do is a whole lot of workshops and get that one client. But anyways, so I want y'all to start thinking about what are some of the things that you love to do? Because truth be told, guys, it you don't have to do just because what Shay does. You don't have to do what Shay does. You can do what you love to do and turn that into a profitable business. Now you got to create the book, though, that builds multiple streams of income. 
All right. Mm -hmm. So with that book, you take that book and then you want to create the multiple streams. Now, some of the multiple streams could be like coaching sessions, one on one sessions. At one time, I used to do a whole lot of one on one sessions for a nominal fee. Then you create an online course or you can create a group course or something like that. But some of you guys sell products. And so one of the things I love to do, Shay, if you don't mind, I would like to see um, what is it? What what is the product? Um, that most that people sell on here and I'm gonna literally take one of those products and I'm gonna turn it Oh, this is good. This is good. Take the product and I'm gonna turn that into Multiple streams leveraging your book if you don't mind Shay, can we do that? Yeah, so so I want so, everybody just kind of post like what do y'all sell? What do you, what's your product and just give me a couple words? I don't need a long paragraph. Just give me a couple words. If you sell weight loss pills, you sell you so, sell hair so, products. So, so, so I think so I think I think if I heard you correctly, what you want them to do is you want them to tell them what they do or what they sell, so you understand that. Um, let me yeah. go ahead and frame the conversation for you just a little bit here. Here's what we're going to do, everyone. Um, and, and here's what I think she's going. Taria right now, Taria, Taria, you can see Taria, okay? You can hear Taria, and that's cool. But Taria can't see you, and she can't hear you. So one of the ways to allow Taria to hear you and to see you and to understand what you do is to tell her what you do. Now, she doesn't need to know how many letters you have behind your name. She doesn't need to know all your all-star celebrity clients. Here's what you can write right below the video. I think this will help. You can write, I help people dot 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 or I help businesses dot 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 so you can look right below the video look right below the video and write I help people transform their lives I help people um, lose weight I help people gain financial wealth I help businesses improve their marketing I help businesses get their web pages done and this this is important for two reasons number one Taria gets a chance to see it Number two, I get a chance to see it, so we get a chance to shout your business out. And whenever you can shout your business out, you want, you want your business to be shouted out. But more importantly, the rest of the happy entrepreneurs tribe and everyone else that's watching all over the world, they get a chance to connect with you. So I'm gonna encourage you, when people are writing what they do and how they serve, because they have a vision for the people they were called to serve, and they're doing that. And if they're doing that right now, then I want you to connect with them now that you know how they serve and how they solve a problem. So I'm gonna click onto my link over here and I want you to put, I help people improve their relationships. I help people generate cash flow in their business. That's the sentence, I help people dot 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 or I help businesses dot dot dot. Now when you write that, I'm gonna read it. Now she's gonna listen and she'll select somebody. Okay, I don't know who she's gonna select, that's, that's her call. But I'm looking on my page and she's looking on her page I believe and Tanisha Marie Johnson, she was bold by the way, she's the first one, but she said, I'm gonna say what I do. Don't worry, there's no right or wrong answer. She put, I help heal after the breakup, I'm a relationship coach. Oh, I'm sorry, I help women heal after the breakup, I'm a relationship coach. I'm gonna nod a couple of these and she'll hear them. Morris Reed put, transformational coaching and portable motivational cards. Now, Morris, we want you to put, I help people what? Why do you give them motivational cards? I help people what? Okay, uh, Isabel put, I bring youth and police officers together to improve their relationships. Oh, that's really good. Uh, Stevie put, I help female authors and speakers make money. Thanks a lot. Jarvis put, I help businesses with promotional marketing and print, apparel, and items okay Jarvis make sure you give me a call I need a t-shirt like hers Jarvis Jarvis give me a call I, I, Jarvis can you send me a free, uh, free t-shirt huh <laughs> I said I'll take my design I'm not gonna okay. take your design you know now I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna design I'm a t-shirt but I want to show up with a cool t-shirt so Jarvis uh, send me a inbox message my man hopefully you hopefully you know where I can get me some promotional products can I can I can I, get, can I get a water bottle with my name on it I'm just saying I'm just saying okay I'm, I, I'm sorry I kind of lost my mind okay Kim Carroll put, I help people to be able to move forward into the life that God has for them. Thank you a lot. Morris put, I help people renew their minds. That's clear, isn't it? I like that. Nicole Brown Hurston put, I use my book to help people give hope and support healing. All right, I'm going to read as many as I can. I'm going to turn it over to you in a minute. Um, Ann Humphrey put, I help entrepreneurs, leaders, and executives spark dreams and that lay dormant into profits. Wow. 
that's really good. Jarvis, I was serious, by the way. Send me a Facebook message. I'm at a conference right now. Everybody got a freaking T-shirt. I'm going to talk to Trevor Ox. I don't have a T-shirt. I think, I think I've earned a Happy Entrepreneur T-shirt. Don't you think I've earned one? Gee whiz. Um, I'm so upset yeah, about that. Have. I'm so upset about that. You can tell that. Um, um, I'm going to read two more. Let's see. Stephanie Marshall put, I help women build their confidence through fashion jewelry. Ooh, I like that. That, that, that was, was good. pretty good. Yeah, that was that was that was that was hot. That was hot. Um, M, M and M put. I'm trying to read this thing. I help biz, busy. I'm sorry, I help busy but overwhelmed entrepreneurs and professionals discover their soul's purpose. I like that, so they can experience inner peace. That was good. Rosetta said, "I help people hone skills for business." All right, I'm, everyone, keep writing as many as you have. I'm in the hotel lobby, by the way, so you hear a lot of noise. Kids running around. Don't worry about it. They're all watching me. It's, I wish y'all could see the other side of the camera. They're like, what's going on over there? They're listening to Terrell talk over here. They're like, this guy's all by himself. They don't understand. There's a camera there. Hello. There's a big red dot on it. Hello. <laughs> I'm just joking. No offense, but y'all can at least bring me something to eat. You know, brother's starving over here, by the way. I died. They brought me a little bottle of water. The lady's like, I feel bad. Do you need some water? I'm like, yeah. But oh, oh. <laughs> I can drink this water like one gulp. But I'm very, I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative. But some food would be great. The brother's a little nourishing over here. All right, take it away. Um, take it away, uh, Taria. I help people expand their dreams globally. Ooh, Kelly Thompson. That was good. I like that too. All right, so, right. Yes. so did, did, did you okay. hear enough? So yeah, I heard enough, and um, I'm just gonna kind of just get. So one of the things that I'll typically do, like if I'm doing a workshop, I will ask just that question. Then I like to get an idea of what kind of income. But we'll just for the for the sake of because it's so many of us here, and I know a lot of people are gonna be watching the replay. Now for the coaching space, for those of you who do coaching, right? Mm -hmm. That that building is um, building your success funnel is what I like to call it is generally going to be the same for most people. You're going to have your book. You'll do a middle product, which will be like one on one coaching sessions or maybe something a little bit smaller where it doesn't require a lot of your time. And then you have your high ticket product, which is your program. However, what I love to do is how to show people that sell a product or even maybe a service. Maybe you do massages. Maybe you do hair and how to turn that into what would not be as typical because this is the deal. Like, for example, the, the young lady that has the jewelry, most people will think, well, then since I sell jewelry, I should write a book about jewelry. I loved what you said. I help women build confidence because honestly, that's what you're selling. You're not selling jewelry. You're selling confidence. And why does a woman need confidence? Because she needs to get a job. OK, let's mm -hmm. let's say that's who you're targeting. Right. Mm -hmm. Or not only just to get a job, but maybe you're targeting women that want to get a raise and they need to feel more confident about themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. So. I would recommend, let's just say your target market was women to get a job or to get a raise, right? Specific target, niches get riches. So don't be afraid to niche it down. Let's say your book is about how to get your dream job. What? But hold on, I sell jewelry, Taria. How does that, what does that have to do with anything? The way you get your dream job or how to win in your dream business is you're going to have seven different steps. One is going to be build yourself. Two is going to be learn. Three is going to be get a coach. Four is going to be wear the wear boss clothing or wear clothes that make you confident. And one of the things that make you confident is your jewelry. And so in chapter that chapter four, where you're talking about what you wear, you're going to be talking about wearing the right jewelry because jewelry makes a statement. Jewelry is how you build your confidence. Mm -hmm. And now you're actually um, you're selling your jewelry. But see, instead of being like everyone else that may be selling jewelry, what separates you is I actually have a book that teaches you how to be successful. Okay. okay. So that's why people okay. are going to bring you in. So your book, that's what your book is about. Then the second thing is because um, we build a success funnel, right? So your book is $20. Then you want to have something that's like a middle item. And it's not because you want to first bring someone at $20 and then you want to maybe get them to get the next and get the next because people are at different levels of investments, right? Yeah. So then you have something that may be up to about $150. I like to yeah. call this your middle item, right? Your middle item or your core item, um, right? And so your core, your premium, yeah, and so your core. And so in your core, for your jewelry, you can have the confidence, uh, you can call it something like, this is my confidence package, 
right? Because that's what the book is about, building confidence or whatever. Or this could be like, this could be like the um, dream job jewelry package. Okay. And you have like, you know, a custom set of pieces that you can put within that. And in that package also could come with the book or maybe come with a one-on-one -on -one session. So instead of just only selling the jewelry, now they can schedule a one-hour session. I know my middle item, I would I used to charge 197 for somebody to get on the phone with me for an hour, okay? And so now you have that and you wanna separate yourself so you call it something like that. And then you have your high ticket item. Now I don't know if you're in network marketing, mm -hmm. um, but I know a lot of people are doing the network marketing company. And so let's just say that would be the higher one because now, you know what, I got this confidence. I want to show I want to share this with other people and now you're able to get people to get into that higher package now what I do is I like to break down my numbers too to figure out what do I how many books do I need to get in front of people how many people need to buy that middle item and also mm -hmm. how many people need to buy that higher ticket item which of course goes into more training but that's just an example of how you can take the product and really turn that into an opportunity for people um, I know we were also talking about like the because uh, I like to pick stuff that most people don't think about and so we were also talking about uh what was his name J J jarvis or Jav jarvis? Uh, jarvis let me let me go back to let me, let me go find jarvis jarvis tell us again what you do jarvis 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 is gonna hook me up um jarvis the promotional <laughs> promotional he has, like, products promotional and marketing right yeah he does so promotional products that, and marketing i think right let's say that that jarvis says you know what my niche market is going to be public speakers right mm -hmm. i want to because you know like you said i need my t-shirt right <laughs> and then look i mean i'll, I'll, take, I mean, I'll take i'll take a mug but i want a t-shirt i mean i'll take a water bottle but call me a <laughs> water bottle something <laughs> can, can, can i, I get, a get a water bottle with happy entrepreneur okay. on it look i'm sitting here look what i got right now i got we work pen i got a we work <laughs> cup i have a we work shirt i mean look you got to have your own merch these days. You hear what I'm saying, Shay? Yeah. Get your own clothes, okay? Um, but let's just say that his target market was public speaking, and what he does is he helps public speakers to to be able to uh, get people asking, like, "What do you do?" Right? Something like that. Right. Like, I help people. I help public speakers get more, you know, get more customers or get more clients or whatever, right. because he creates certain types of promotional uh, marketing deals, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can maybe, I know they have books that are all called like Speak Out Loud and stuff like that, but he can literally create a book centered around public speakers, like Speak Out Loud, how to draw more attention. And you talk about seven different ways to draw attention. One of the ways is to wear stuff that makes people ask you, what do you do right and oh. so a lot of times i'll wear certain shirts where you know my shirt might say a woman in mlm or like this one that says authorpreneur they're like what is that or urban ceo and then underneath it says unapologetic real bold action oriented and non-conforming and so i wear shirts that will require that cause people to like stare at it and say, what is that all about? Mm -hmm. And so because you do the marketing <laughs> materials, Jarvis, mm -hmm. that's what you write a book about, how to you know, how to get people to ask you what you do. So you have that book and then you create like a middle package that's like the starter kit. Hello, like a t-shirt, wow. a mug. Since Shay wants a mug, we make sure we get him a shirt and a mug so that everywhere he goes, like, you know, you know how hood I would be. Let me tell you, I got to get a little hood with y'all. <laughs> yeah, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. I need to get my own mugs. And this this just came to me. You know why I need to get my own mugs? Because when I go to the bar, I'm going to bust out my own mug, okay? Mm. That says my own company on it. Like, guys, when you are repping your brand, you should rep your brand everywhere you go. So people are like, what is that? What is that? And so he creates the speaker starter kit that helps you to rock your shirt, have your pins, have your mugs. So that everywhere you go, people are asking you. And then the primary package, of course, would be maybe sets of shirts that you can actually sell for your tribe, for the people uh, that are moving, that you're helping I, and impacting. I, I, and that's the higher ticket item. I'm loving it. I mean, first, first of all, I, I am just loving it. I, I'm loving what you're saying. I'm, I'm loving what you're doing. Look, we're going to pause for a moment because she is on a roll. She is rock and roll. There's a couple of things I want you to do. I want you first just to look below the video. Just look, just look right below the video and just write these words. It's my time to be paid for my book. Just put, just forget that part. Just put, it's my time. I'm going to make it real easy for you because I want you to, to engage. She's going to come back. The best is still yet to come. Look, the best is still yet to come. Look, I'm going to tell you, the best is still yet to come. But I want you to look below the video and put, it's my time. Because 
it is your time. Today is your day. This is your year. This is your month. This is your moment and you're going to own that statement. So I want you to look right below the video and this is very important. Look right below the video and I want you just to write these words. It's my time. It's my time to tell my story. It's my time to share my message. It's my time to share my expertise. It's my time to get my book written. It's my time to get my book not sold, but turn that book into an ATM machine, which may be through one of the products that she talked to. It's my time to connect with Taria. And it's not about Taria, it's about the results that she's able to be, deliver for you and the people you were called to serve. That's where the magic happens. So I want you to look right below the video. Do, just do me a favor. Just do me a favor. As you're watching right now and you're tuning in, just look right below the video and put like Rosetta Thomas. It's my time. Regina Kern said, no, it's my time to be paid for my book. Teresa is the right person, yeah. by the way. Sherry said, <laughs> Sherry Lewis said, no, it's my time. Jarvis, Jarvis, send me, I got your Facebook message. We're going to talk tonight or tomorrow. We're going to, we, I, I, just because you're here, you showed up. Part of life is showing up. I probably can, I can probably pick up a stick and throw a rock at people to do promotional stuff, but I like the energy. I like the mindset. I like the creativity. And you're here, man, and you're here, and you constantly are pouring into other people. So I, I just want to, I want to I at least have the conversation. We, we're going to make some magic happen at the closed conference. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be off the chain. Yvette Wright Golf said, it's my time. Nikki Lee said, it's my time. Stephanie Marshall said, it's my time. It's my time to grab a drink real quick, and then we're going to come back, and Teresa's going to teach you how. She's already given you a lot. I don't know, but she got, look, the lady is full of energy. I'm connected with her. Make sure you connect with her right now. Um, and as you're writing, it's my time. What's up, uh, Linda Reese? I'm gonna, I want to acknowledge you just for the winner that you are, for the champion that you are. We'll be back in just a moment. I want to hear what Dr. Connect Thigpen has to say. Let's go over and connect with Dr. Connect Thigpen in just a moment. Hello, it's your girl, Dr. Kenneth Thigpen, also known as Dr. K, founder of Rise Women's Network. And Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you hashtag next sister up. I'm here with you today in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, and today is my January 1st. Here's your thought of the week. Redirected, not rejected. Redirected, not rejected rejected. Now, how many of us have been rejected at some point in our life? You know, maybe it's been rejection from a sales opportunity, a relationship, or maybe even a job opportunity. Now, many people view rejection as failure. Now, instead of focusing on the rejection, we should focus on how do we move forward from here? I remember back in 2006, I had received my master's degree. I was working at a community mental health organization and I thought I deserved a raise. Now, there were 563 reasons as to why I thought I deserved a raise, but one of those reasons was that master's degree. So the night before my meeting with the owner of the company, I practiced, I role played, I listed everything out, and the next morning I went in there ready. And I gave her the 563 reasons as to why I deserved a raise. And she looked at me and she smiled really big and she said, Kinette, that is absolutely amazing. Thank you. And no, no. So not only did I feel rejected, but I also felt deflated. And to be honest with you, I even went home and had a little bit of a pity party. Now, once I got my little self together, I said, you know what? It's time to move forward. I haven't been rejected. I'm going to be redirected. So what I did was I, I focused my time and energy on opening my own private practice. And in less than six months, I had accomplished that goal. And so although in that moment initially I thought I had been rejected, I was actually being redirected. And so I'll leave you with this quote. Every time I thought I was being rejected from something good, I was actually being redirected to something even better. I'm your girl, Dr. Kenneth Thigpen, also known as Dr. K. Make it a great day. Make it a great day. You know, one of the things I love, and let's give Dr. Kenneth Thigpen a hand, and certainly in line with what we're talking about tonight, which is very, very important. And how do you do that? Because some of you, you are going to be redirected, but not rejected. Do me a favor, do me a favor, just like you saw Anna Humphrey write, just like you saw Arthur Tanise write, 
write this down right now because it's my season, it's my time. Write this down. Redirect it, not reject it. I'm going to ask um, <laughs> uh, Terea to talk about that. You're going to be redirected along this path. You might show up with your book. You might show up with your message. You might show up with your program. And guess what? It wasn't the right audience. You are being redirected, not rejected. You may go to Terea. You might sit down and say, I've got this idea. This is the title. This is the story because you're a planner and you thought about this thing. And you talk <laughs> to your, your friends who written books and some who have not. And you think this is the right time. And guess what? You do it. And she says, no, no, we've got to redirect the energy. So you look right below the video. No, if you're an author, if you're an entrepreneur, life's going to be full of pitfalls. I love what Dr. Willie Jolly says. And he wrote a book about this. He said a setup is nothing, a setback, I'm sorry, a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. Comeback, yes. Comeback. There's going to be some challenges, and you are the comeback. What? Perfect. So do me a favor. Look right below the video and put redirected, not rejected. You know, Terea, when you hear that, um, talk, take a moment and talk about, you know, having to redirect. Talk about how to, how to, when that happens, how that's not rejection. And then tell us, take a moment, and I know you think everybody in the world knows who you are because you're a rock star. You're, you're a super cool person. But can you take maybe two to five minutes and tell us a little something about your backstory? Like, 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 how did you get to where you are now with taking books? This is important. Y'all, connect with her. Set an appointment. Schedule time. Sit down with her team. If you can't get her on the phone, I understand why. If you can't meet with her, I understand why. Meet with her team. <laughs> it is time for you to turn your book into an ATM. Over to you, Tered. I'm going to turn the, uh-oh, I'm going to turn the volume down. I don't think they could hear me when I was talking. Okay. Uh, oh, they could hear me. I turned the volume down because there was, um, I'm in the hotel lobby. <clears throat> They're vacuuming around me. They're cleaning around me. I'm trying to be cool, like, mm, turn the volume down, put this up a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> you sound real crispy. I can't hear any background uh, noise. You can't, you can't hear the noise? Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, good. I was looking all around. This is like real stuff, by the way. I'm, I'm really in the hotel lobby. I'm surprised they didn't throw me out of here, but um, ain't no thing. Chicken wing, ain't no thing. Over to you, Terea. Talk about that. Reject it. App? Redirect it, not reject it. And I want to thank all yes. our digital note takers. Thank you so much for taking notes. Yes. Thank you. you. We appreciate okay. you. Great. You rock. You guys are awesome. Uh, well, to answer the question a little bit about my background, mm -hmm. um, well, I, I was born at a very young age. Mm -hmm. No, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> but I went to Hampton University, and I actually am a, my background is in computer science, and so I am a techie. Okay, mm -hmm. so shout out to all of my techies out there, mm -hmm. programmers, gadget lovers. Um, I'm a gadget lover. I don't I, look. I'm not a fashion girl. I'm a gadget girl. Okay, uh, that's my background. In fact, many times at conferences, you will never see me at a conference without my laptop. Like my laptop is, it might not get open, but it's got to be with me. Okay. Um, but to keep the story very short, you know, I had been one of those people who had always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I started back in 1999. Mm. I, I know I don't look old enough to do You don't. You, know, but you don't. I, Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I started, you know, on my journey to being an yeah. entrepreneur in yeah. 1999 and failed for 10 plus years. I mean, honestly, uh, but it wasn't until I was working a job as a database administrator and my father passed away. I'm just going to fast forward that really quick. Sure. This was like my hero uh, my mom passed when I was 11 and so I'm now 25 and I'm just getting started in the corporate world finally mm. landing a job and he then gets cancer and he he unfortunately passes away seven months later and for me I got so tired of just being in a position where I was unhappy I got mm. tired of waking up knowing that I I was doing something and just kind of just dealing with life with what, what a lot of people do we keep on making excuses I got tired of be always complaining that I was broke I got tired of all those things I'd rather be broke doing what I love to do than be broke working and doing something that I don't and some of us mm. do love our jobs but I didn't uh. like mine I didn't hate I didn't hated it so when he passed I moved to Atlanta a month after that and I started my journey to creating a multimedia company that did horrible. And then I got into the home-based business arena. And, and honestly, I, my, my testament to why I was able to hit success was because I had a coach. And being able to be guided by somebody who could see from a giraffe's eye view 
helped me so that I wasn't running around here bumping my head. And I invested, I mean, a lot. I started going to conferences, reading books, listening to audios. You know, I mean, guys, I just stayed engulfed into it to the point where I had gotten so bad. Like, I stopped listening to radio. I wasn't watching TV. The only thing you would hear is possibly the strangest secret or, you know, by Earl, was that Earl Nightingale? Yeah, the magic yeah. of leaving. Like, these are the audios that will be uh -huh. playing nonstop, okay? I know, um, I know all about that. You know what I'm talking about, yes, right? Sir. Yes, yes. Uh, even to where I would record myself, because the thing about most most people that I find is that people subconsciously say negative things. We don't even realize it because we're so used to saying stuff like, "To me, if you don't want to be mm -hmm. um, like what was I was I was uh, talking with one of my students today, and she was like, you know, I'm just nervous. I'm nervous. I said, stop saying that." Because right. the more that you say it, you're programming your subconscious mind to truly believe it. And your subconscious mind is actually more powerful than your conscious. Mm. And so you keep saying it, you're going to always be nervous and you're never going to take the proper steps. And so I started recording audios. So when I go to sleep, it would say, you know, I am rich. I am a diamond. That was the name of the position. I'm a diamond in the company. So when I finally hit that position, it was kind of like yeah, I had already it. been there yeah. in my mind. Yeah, I was already there. So fast forward, I wrote my very first book. And the reason why I decided to write my book, Shay, was because I had went to go sit down with this gentleman who had just made partner at his law firm. Mm -hmm. When I had just went to Atlanta, I met him and he had just became a lawyer and I had just, you know, gotten on my journey. And so he was telling me all his great news. He had made partner and I had just hit the top comp the top level of the, uh, leadership in my home-based business. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, I'm proud too because, you know, I pulled up in this nice car and and so yeah. he's telling me he made partner and he's like, so what do you do? And I, you know, I went to telling him what I did. And he looked at me like I told him I was selling drugs or something. <laughs> it was just this whole countenance change. And I was like, bro, like, don't do it. Like, you know what I mean? And so I realized that there's still some people who didn't necessarily see what I did as a profession. So I said, how can I get people to respect me? I ended up going to this conference and they were teaching people how to write books and, but their program was $26,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so I was like, well, I'm not going to do that. Cause I already paid $6,000 for another program, uh, to learn. And I did write the book, but it was public domain. And then I decided, mm -hmm. okay, I'm just going to go write my own book. So I did that Shay. And soon as I wrote the book, it was like, you ever seen like where the, the heaven, the, 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 the gates open. It's like, yeah. Like it was like the people were like, come on in, girl. And so like I got invited to speak at so many different places. Like before then, I was so busy just promoting. I'm a diamond. I'm a six figure earner. I'm a leader. I'm going to do this. Nobody really cared. When I wrote that book, I had real estate organizations that having me to come speak to talk about goal setting. I had a bridal organization that asked me to come to mm -hmm. speak because I had talked about uh um, vision boards and they were doing a vision board and they were like, we want you to come speak. I had, um, you know, like the networking organizations that never wanted me to speak because they thought I was going to get up there and try to recruit. They were like, <laughs> hey, we want you to come and speak. And so mm -hmm. that's when everything changed for me. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like, and nobody, you know, to this day, Shay, nobody has ever asked me because the name of my book is a six figure vision. Nobody has ever said, well, do you really make six figures? Like they never asked me that. They just assume. Now I'm a big girl on integrity. I don't believe in talking about stuff if you're not doing it. Um, but nobody's ever been like, so do you really make six figures? Or so do you really do these things you've said? Right, it's right, just right. the assumption is because I wrote it, I did it. So mm. that's kind of my journey into today. And then I decided to um, help people. And that's a whole nother story in its own. Yeah. I know. Uh, when I decided to start coaching, but that, that's how it happened. And, and I hope that me sharing that has opened up some of your eyes into understanding why you must write a book. Like it is imperative that you write a book guys and get it done and yeah. then write another one and another yeah, and one. There's, and there's and some another. folks that are listening out there as you say, write another one and write another one and write another one. There, there, there might be one. Am I the type of person she works with? Can you, can you take a minute and kind of talk about the ideal client for you and the type of clients that you work with? Because they might be thinking, well, before I give her a call, I've got to have all my ducks in line. I got to make sure I know what I'm going to do because I don't want to show up and be working with her and her team and look kind of stupid because I'm like, I, you know, I just got a story. I don't even know what the chapter is yet. 
take a right. take a take a moment because I'm gonna encourage you if that's you. And and Teresa's gonna tell you if she's the type of person that you should work with her. If not, she'll let you know. Or maybe they're out there thinking, well, I've got four or five, although I ain't made any money, and I want to do another one. But you know, you know, am I the right type of person? Like you know, so tell us a little about the the type of clients that you work with and why you work with them. So someone that's, that's watching right now and are listening to the podcast or are listening to the conference call or got this shared onto their page, thank all of you who shared this message forward, who hit that who hit that share button, who hit that share button and paid it forward. We appreciate you. So someone may be watching and have no idea like, okay, does she just work with startup authors? Does she only work with professional authors? Or do they have to be in a certain industry? Can you take a moment and kind of just, just, just talk about that? Um, absolutely. As, as I continue to progress, really the person that I'm looking for is the one who kind of wants to duplicate what I've done and get into the information based uh, industry. It's a $100 billion industry, y'all. 2025, it'll be $300 billion. That means more people are going to be willing to invest money. And I'm not talking about uh, just $97. I'm talking about people willing to invest 50000 The coach that I hired, her high ticket item is $100,000 to work with her. And wow. so if you're looking to get into, right. And if you're looking to get into that space, guys, if you want to be a speaker, if you want to be a coach, no matter what your product or service is, see a lot of us guys, we think so linear and we think that, okay, but I can't really coach on that or how can I coach on Anybody that wants to get a part of an industry that's $100 billion right now, that's who we're really looking for because the kind of books that we do, I don't do memoirs, I don't do storybooks, I do how-to books. But you know, just to give you like an example, I had a young lady, she had no idea what she wanted to write about. She was like, look, Taria, I just know I'm trying to make some money and I wanna write a book. Now when you do stuff for the purpose only to make money, I promise you this guys, you will quit because you have to have passion in this okay because there's gonna be days where it's not gonna be peachy it's not gonna be okay it's not gonna be easy nobody's gonna call you up and say hey are you working on your book or drag you to success so you got to make sure it's something that you're passionate about right mm -hmm. and so i was talking to her i said so tell me what are some of the things you did then she said well i was working in corporate and i helped all these companies uh make all these millions of dollars i said how you do that she's like i got them a whole lot of alcohol sponsors like i was able to close some big deals i said well did you enjoy getting liquor sponsors. She was like, I sure did. I loved it, but I got tired of making these companies all this money. I felt like I wasn't being respected or I was my value was not being valued. I said, so why don't you create an opportunity teaching people how to get corporate sponsorship? I said, do you still have relationships with some of these people? She said, absolutely. I mean, I spent 20 plus years building relationships. I'm still connected. I said, you know how many people teaching sponsorships don't have relationships with corporate companies? And the fact that you can have a high ticket program where you say, mm. look, and if you want you qualify, I'm going to personally make sure that I can connect you to some of my personal connections right mm -hmm. now that's somebody that's investing high ticket they make sure their work is done they've got their plan and all that stuff but i said you should get into the space of doing what you love to do and turn it into an opportunity and so she was like what i said yeah write a book about <laughs> sponsorship everybody trying to yeah. get sponsors i like that. yeah you know what i'm saying people doing events left and right them events ain't cheap so that's what I would encourage you guys to do. You know, know that it's not going to be easy, but it's definitely worth it. But you got to find something that you're passionate about. So anybody that wants to get into that space, guys, I'm telling you, uh, that's who we work with. And now, Shay, is it okay if I give them a link Absolutely. so that they can actually Come get on a now. free gift? Absolutely. Yes. I, I didn't okay. even get to that. Yes. And, okay, because and, and, and before you and, and, and before you give them the link, when here's what I'm going to do. When, I'm going to go to Letitia Nicole, and she's going to come back. And and when she comes back, I want her to do the two things. The first thing I want her to do is I want her to share with you um, some a gift, share with you a special way you can connect with her, and, sh and she's going to do that. And then I want her to step back, and I want her to share with you um, the one thing. If there was one takeaway that you can do to get started today. Now you're going to connect with her, number one. But I want to say, you know what? If you're just sitting out there and you've got an idea, you've got a thought. Here, here's the one, two, three thing to do, or here's the one, two, three thing to do before you meet with her. So that, so therefore, when you do contact her, it's not just, oh, who are you? What's going on? I, I want you to be able to take your idea and turn it into a reality. 
I, I want you to be able to take the lessons you learned. She does how-to books and teach someone else. I want you to pay it forward. I want to be part of the legacy that you leave behind. And so she's going to walk you through, okay, if you're out there and you just got an idea right now and you're like, I'm, I've never written a book, or I've got five books, but I got another idea. Here's step one, here's step two, here's step three. She's going to give that to you. But then after that, she's going to say, now here's some resources you can connect with or here's how to connect with me. So you hold tight, you get ready. You know why? Because the best, I always like to say this, the best is still yet to come. I'm going to go over to Letitia Nicole. Letitia Nicole is regularly on here. She, she had some, some shared comments that she wanted to share with you. Pay close attention to Letitia Nicole. Letitia Nicole, get Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Letitia Nicole, and today is my January the 1st. But before I start with my Monday motivation, thought of the week, I want to say thank you so much, Shay Brown, for making this amazing group of happy entrepreneurs. They are simply wonderful. So today, my thought of the week, first, I have to speak life and say you will stay focused on your profitable, amazing business. You will stay focused on your amazing, profitable business. Now, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to stay focused on your business. Now, number one, set up your day the night before. I'm gonna say it again, set up your day the night before. Number two, do the most difficult task first. Number two, do the most difficult task First, number three, don't allow those distractions to be your main attraction. Bye-bye time wasters. Don't even let them in. How? By writing them down so when they come and you see them, you say, peace. No, I'm doing my work. I've got some revenue goals that I want to meet and you are a time waster. Okay? Number four, protect your energy. Regenerate yourself by walking away from the computer, by sitting that pen and piece of paper down. Protect your energy. And number five, listen, always constantly remind yourself of your goals. Always remind yourself of your goals. So my name is Letitia Nicole. I use these tips for myself every day. They keep me grounded. They keep me focused. And guess what? I too get distracted. All right. So let's continue to write our goals down and stay focused on our business. Until next time, I want you to write down five goals that you want to accomplish tomorrow. All right. Do it today. My name is Letitia Nicole and I speak life so that we all may have life more abundantly. Peace and blessings. Bye bye. That's right, peace and blessings. And one of the things that I like that she start off with, and some of you are hearing it for the very first time, is that today is your January 1st. Today is your January 1st. It's one of the core values we hold here at the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. And I want you to imagine, remember, where you were back on December 31st and how excited you were. It was going to be a new year. You were going to learn some new technology. You were going to write that new book. You were going to be in that new relationship. Yes, you were going to go to the gym. I, I know, I know. You were going to do that. You were going to, you were going to eat the right foods. I, I, I know, I know. I get that. No more sugar. I get that. You're going to spend less than you make. I get it. But here's the point. You remember how excited you were? You remember that energy that you had? Just like Terea has right now, that energy. And then here you are today. And here's what I want you to know. That today is my January 1st. You can have that same energy. You can have that same passion. Tomorrow when your feet hit that ground, you can tell yourself that today is my January 1st. There are new opportunities out there. Today is my January 1st. My past does not equal my future. If you believe that the best is yet to come, if you're ready to make this the best 30 days you ever have. If you believe that your past does not equal your future, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look right below the video. I want you to look right below the video and I want you to write these words. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to do something different. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to recreate myself. 
Today is my January 1st. I'm going to call that person that I love. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. Look right below the video and put today, not tomorrow, but today is my day. Today is my January 1st. Today, as you hear those words, I want you to say that with me. Today is my today January 1st. January 1st. All right, let, yes. let's try it. That, that's pretty good. Let's try it again. A little more energy, a little more enthusiasm. Today okay. is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. Now, now when you hear that, Terea, when you hear those words that today is my January 1st and I have new opportunities, I get a fresh start. What goes through your mind? What, what, what are you thinking? What are you hearing? What are you feeling right now? And I want y'all to listen to Terea as she's sharing that because today is your January 1st. In fact, Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Tell someone, Happy, happy New Year. To you. New year. <laughs> Every day on a Happy Entrepreneur Show Every is a year. new year. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Now tomorrow, you still got to do the work. Tomorrow, yeah. you still got to put the time in. Tomorrow, you still got to put the effort in. I get that. You got to have the discipline. But you know what? Here's what my mentor taught me when I asked him what was the key to being successful. And I can tell you all the wonderful things he's done. Just know he is a mentor of mentors. That's how I'm going to start this show. You know what he said? Consistency. I said, huh? What? Be consistent. Other people yeah. have shows, but that don't mean they're doing well. Other people have shows, that don't mean they're going to keep doing them. Other people have shows, that don't mean they speak to your audience. Just show up and be consistent. And yep. you'll get better, and you'll get better, and you'll get better. So today is your January first. You show up, give that effort, and I promise you, the magic will happen. Teray, when you hear today is your January first, what goes through your mind? Don't put off to, to don't put off to tomorrow what you should do today, because mm -hmm. tomorrow's not promised. Nah, that's what goes through my mind. I don't like to put off. I, it, look, we got to do it. We got to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And even when you said being excited, too, that's another thing. If you're doing something that doesn't excite you, th that's the thing. We've got to figure out what are the things that are going to excite us. Don't do something because you see someone else doing it. Like you see Shay and he's got this great technology and you say, you know, I'm going to do a show like him. And then when you try to do it, it's like frustrating you. It's stressing you out. And, but you're doing it because he don't you got to do what excites you. And that's what's so important is figuring out the things that's going to keep you moving. Because when those days are not great and you, you know, it's now J January the 15th. And you like, you know what, I'll just wait till next month. And then next month turns into, you know, I'm going to just get it next year. Mm -hmm. No, every single day, we got to treat it like a new day. So don't put off to tomorrow, which should be done today. Many of y'all been watching this the whole time. And my thing is, how many of us watch stuff that is not bringing us this kind of value, where in exchange of doing that, we could be doing things that could be impacting other people? Wow, I Here. love it. Today is my January 1st. Now... Terea, tell them, um, you know, the one, two, threes for those that have a book idea and then tell them a link that they can go to. How can they connect to you? Is there a gift that you can give them? Take it away yeah. from here. And because I'm, I'm really excited. We're coming down the home stretch. Terea is in double overtime. If you play sports, this is like triple overtime, by the way. She's like in, in triple <laughs> overtime. She, but what I like most about Terea is when we got started, I'm, I'm going to tell you in all seriousness, there is no run sheet. OK, I, I don't have a run sheet. There, there is no run sheet. Right. Um, she didn't send me a list of questions and said, Shay, you must ask these questions. If you don't ask these questions, there's going to be a problem. She didn't say that. She just said, Shay, I show up to serve. And before we got started, there was some technical difficulties. I'm in a, I'm in a lobby. I'm in a hotel. I was like, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what I can do. Is the NSP going to be fast enough? Shay, I'm ready. And you know what? That helped calm me down. That helped me say, you know what? I'm grateful and I could just relax and then try to do what I had to do to make this a reality. You know, for people out there like Nicole that says treat every day like a new day. Alyssa Mitchell said, boom, you dropped the mic on that one, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Alyssa Mitchell said, happy new year. Ann Humphrey says, happy new year. Sherry Lewis Randall says, today is my January 1st. In fact, it is. All right. Take it away. Uh, Terry, I'm going to turn it over to you now as we come down the home stretch.
Well, absolutely. Well, you know, I've come to learn it's not what happens to you. It's what you do with what happens to you that determines your life, your success and the things that happen. And so I just I, I said at the beginning of the year, I'm not going to let stuff stress me, especially if it's beyond my control. Mm -hmm. And I know that as long as we stay in the right state, we're going to have a great time. But the gift that I do want to give to you guys is I do have a free training webinar that will get you guys started. OK, so many of you, you really want to understand, you know, how to leverage this, how to build multiple streams. If you go to a book in 30 days dot com, a book in 30 days dot com, three zero days dot com, you'll be able to get access to the webinar. You'll mm. also get access, guys, to a free ebook that I give you that also breaks down reasons why you need to write this book but a book in 30 days.com will give you access to the webinar so you can get all of the details and you will be connected and you will be um i will be reaching out to you so don't worry and we also have a conference that's coming up um and so just make sure guys to pay attention if you are invited by any of our ambassadors make sure to get back with them because we're gonna really light it up guys it's not just about being an author it's really about make using that as a tool so you know i, I help you make money i want to help you make money i don't just want you to be an author that no one knows about i want you to be about building multiple streams of income so you have to watch that video uh that webinar that i do a book in 30 days.com to get the details you know, Shay, I'm telling you, I, it's such an honor to be here uh, today. I've had a chance to watch what you do now for several years. And a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm a, I can be quite introverted and I'm a little socially awkward in so um, extroverted situations. Right. I know a lot of speakers tend to be that way. Yeah. Um, but I, I just want you to know that I definitely look up to everything that you do and your work ethic you know, is ridiculous. Like, I don't even know, I didn't even know you had a wife. And then I saw you posted a picture. I was like, oh, so you, you have a little bit of, cause a lot of people try to get that balance. But you know, yeah. I was talking to a good friend of mine yesterday. She was like, it's not about having balance in life, but being balanced emotionally. Yeah. And so make sure that that emotion, you know, you're, you're there, but that is super awesome with what you do. And I just want to appreciate you for inviting me um, onto your platform and inviting so many other people because we got to get out of the lack mentality that sometimes in our community we may have and you have an abundance mentality sir well thank you so much I certainly appreciate that you are amazing you are incredible for every one of the folks who are watching right now here's how we give a digital applause none other than Terea herself who's just a rock star she's amazing don't worry I'm gonna talk to her later because I want to start a book club segment and she works with authors so I want to be able to talk about books that are coming out books that should be read how to segments and I'm gonna don't worry I'm gonna ask her you know if we can do like a two or three minute segment and kind of spotlight some things that are already going on so you guys can hear from real authors who are real people who have real stories who have real books out there and this that's something that Terea, you and I are going to talk about that because I want to add that Let's on to the it. segment. We're coming on our 100th, 100th episode coming up next week. So I, want, I want to talk to you about you know, how we can have that featured in that, in that episode. And I want to do that on a regular basis because readers are leaders and we buy all type of books. I get that. But there's books written by everyday folks. Every day yeah. who have real ideas. They have real stories. They have real solutions. They've been through real problems. And now they publish something that can help you or help someone that you know. So we yes. want to provide that platform because one of the things I told myself, you know, if I ever had an opportunity to create my own platform, because I know what it's like when no one lets you on their platform. I've been on that side, by the way, and they say absolutely unequivocally not. You can write a check and that'll <laughs> help you. And I got that. So by default, I just started talking. I said, well, maybe someone will listen to me. Right. But I said, if I ever get an opportunity, not only would I open the door, but I'm going to hold the door open for others to walk in and they will always have a platform or a space so they can share their story or share their message. And yeah, we may not have been gone through any NSA training and yeah, we've never been to any TV producing training and all that, but you know what? We speak from the heart, we be ourselves. And at the end of the day, for those that it works great, and for those that don't, no big deal. We love every single one of you and you are what makes this show what it is. And so here's what I like you to do. I always like you to look right below the video, look right below the video and just put, thank you, Terea. Thank you, Terea. Just look right below the video. Look right below the video and say thank you. Say we appreciate you. Um, hit the heart button. Hit the clap button. Uh, Terea, you gave great information. It's a way for us as the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe to love on Terea, to share with Terea, and let her know that we, that we appreciate her time. We understand that she can always make more money 
but she can't make more time. Don't let her. I'm, I'm gonna let her have her closing comments. So she's gonna close out, take the last couple minutes, and give you her closing comments. Um, but I want you to to let her know that we appreciate her, and that is so important. So Alyssa Mitchell put um, so much knowledge. Thank you so much. By the way, um, Jarvis says thank you so much. Um, Stevie, I kept saying Stevie. Stevie says thank you so much, Terea. Brenda Lee German is on here. Says thank you so much. Kim Carroll says thank you so much, Terea. Uh, Jonathan Sanders Orr says thank you so much. She was wondering who's gonna still be on here. I told her don't worry. <laughs> Trust me. Just, just, it's one in the morning in it's Atlanta. Not, it depends on where you are in the world. This is this is not this goes to replay, it goes to syndication. This is just the beginning. She I I wouldn't even worry. Um Carl Frank Felton says, Thank you so much, Terea. We appreciate you. Nava Hare says, Thank you, Terea. Big hearts, bits loves. Uh, Annie Humphrey says, Thank you so much. You rock, by the way. You're you're truly incredible. So your time spent has been well well, well, well received. And for those folks that are out there, again, if you want to get the replay, by the way, Kat says, thank you so much. Everyone's writing, thank you. They appreciate you. For those that want to get the replay, you want to get the notes, you want to get the special gift and the business toolbox, you can text the word revenue. If you haven't done that yet, go to your Facebook, uh, to your um, phone and open up Messenger and text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Again, text the word revenue to 202 202- Nine 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 three five one five. Again, text the word revenue to where? 202-999-3515 to get the special gift. Follow the instructions. Uh, Tanisha Maria, they're hitting the heart button, they're hitting the like button, says, thank you, Terea. I love your energy. And the information was awesome. <laughs> I love it. These, uh, these are, uh, Stephanie Marshall says, thank you, beautiful. She's talking to you, obviously. Sherry Lou Randall says, thank you. We appreciate you, Terea. Uh, Cat Piss says, Terea, you rock. Um, look, Terea, I, I got to have you come back. Um, we're we're going to work with your team. Um, I got to ask the question, will you come back? And, and I understand we got to have a, a segment. I mean, you know, quote, unquote, a segment. I get that. Tonight was just rickety raw, raw rickety. It was off the cuff. We were just like hanging out, talking like we were just having a bite to eat. But will you come back and will you share your knowledge uh, with the team? By the way, will you, will you do that? Of course, absolutely. Yay! Anytime you need me, I'm here. Of course. She said, "Of course, yeah, of course, of course." Shine. It's in there. It's a screenshot it. I said, "I'm coming." She, I'm coming. She said, "I will be back." And then I'm, I'm gonna talk to her because if she's working with authors, um, as we do an author segment, I'm gonna see maybe uh, once a week she might be able to do a, a two minute segment and kind of talk about the power of being an author, what you need to do to grow your business and ways you can connect with her. So, you know, you're getting a little bit as well because sometimes she just can't be here. But I want to be able to share that message and share what she's doing in the world because she's doing so much good. So with that being said, I'm going to now turn it. What's up, Sherry Ford? Thanks for joining. Uh, Alyssa, you said you got to come back, by the way. She, you got to come back. I, I just asked her, okay? I just asked her. Um, <laughs> they're getting on me because sometimes I do that early on and I forgot. So, you know. <laughs> I have I have all the digital note takers and, and so many of you who paid this message for it. I can't say thank you enough. Terea, thank you so much. Um, take a minute or two and talk to the entrepreneurs. You are an entrepreneur. Uh, talk to the business owners. You're a business owner. Talk to professionals out there who get up every day. They're single moms. They're single dads. They're married. They have a responsibility. They work full time during the day. They come home, work full time for their family. They come to the nighttime, work full time in their business, and then they get up the next day and do it all over again so that they can walk in their purpose and so they can make a difference. So talk to them, maybe some words to, to inspire them, some words to encourage them, or just any final thoughts that you have. And we're gonna close out from here, um, again, from the bottom of my heart, and the whole Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe at the Happy Entrepreneurs Show, where we believe that the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. So God bless you. We appreciate you. I turn over you to have the closing comments. Absolutely, Shay. Again, thank you so much. You know, as you were asking me, um, the, the people that, you know, we all are connected to that are watching this uh, broadcast, you know, the only thing that comes to mind, if anybody's ever heard me talk about what inspires me the most is there's certain uh, artifacts or certain things in here in this world that that really uh, motivate me and one is that of an oak tree 
or many may call it the tree of life. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I love them so much that I literally have my entire back tatted. I recently got a big back tattoo that has the whole tree of life on my back. Really? And let me tell you why. Yeah, I'm not playing. Like my whole back is tatted. Um, and the reason why I did I, I I connect with an oak tree or the tree of life is because when you think about those challenges, when you think about the hard work that you guys are putting in, when you plant the seed of an oak tree, first of all, it takes months of the roots to grow underground. And so while this this seed is growing underground, there's so much that's taking place. And the roots of an oak tree or the a tree of life, they grow down hundreds of feet deep and hundreds of feet wide, okay? You don't see all the stuff that's taking place underground. Now, when it finally does come from the ground, months after it's been planted, it ends up looking like a shrub. See, sometimes you can confuse an oak tree for a shrub. That's mm. why I'm telling you guys, it is so important that you do not look left and you do not look right because if you plant your tree with other shrubs, sometimes what will happen is it may stop. But if you notice, most trees that are oak trees are planted by themselves, okay? And so while you're growing deep and wide, you're gonna be growing up and you're gonna take a long, it may take a long time. You know, oak trees, they can take years until they get to their full form. And, but they grow to be hundreds of feet high, right? Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about an oak tree is that an oak tree survives for thousands of years. So the work, this is what I think. You know, I, I watch a lot of people that give back in major ways. I put a post up the other day, and when I see people do stuff like that, it makes me emotional. Like, I literally, I'm almost about to cry now. I start crying when I see people do big things because I know, and you should all know, guys, that the work you're putting in now, the grind that you're putting in now, those sleepless nights, the drama, the challenges, the people who disappointed you, who told you no, the people who lied, the people who talked about you, all of the things that you've had to grow, grow through and go through to build this oak tree, it's going to survive for thousands of years. That's what you call building generational wealth. And so I'm going to close it out with this um, saying that I created as well. Vision is the art of seeing what's invisible to others. So don't allow people who do not see what you see to break your focus. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, don't you look left. Don't you look right. Only stay focused forward on what God has for you. And at the end of the day, you're going to build that oak tree and all will be well. Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Thank you so much, bro, for inviting me to be a part of this. I appreciate you. I am grateful. And uh, that is all. With that being said, thank you so much. You're all amazing. Go out there, make it a great day, everyone. And we're going to make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless, and we wish you all success in everything that you do. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> it was hit in just a Please second. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up, and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or will be killed and eaten. Also, every... Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, Dr. Kinnett? Ready, you ready. Got, no, none other than Andy Harik is in... And we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. None other than the Kim Warren Martin. promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yes. Yes.
Yeah. And they stay there. 